I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Collider Live, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be a very uh, quick start to the nonsense up top because at 10.05, we have WWE legend Kurt Angle calling in, talking about his new film, Chasing Molly. But before we do that, not only is Kurt Angle, Pittsburgh native, on the show, <laughs> Josh Cook is back. Dude, I missed you guys. I, I really you did. Yeah, it's uh, good. Because I feel like I'm like, how was your comic? We already talked about that. What did you think about the Marvel stuff? We already talked about that. I'm like, ah, I don't know I missed yeah, it. Well, there's a lot of things. I mean, there's yeah. a certain Schmo down, I mean, you know. couple things we can talk about. For sure, yeah. Roxy Stryer is back. Yeah. How are you? Uh, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Are you addicted to this face app the way that I am? No. I don't, I don't care about the, the Russian stuff. I don't care about the yeah. Russians either. The old, yeah. the old guy? New guy? No, I'm Russian. doing the young one. The yeah. young thing's better. The he sent thing. me quite the young picture. I today. did it today because I wanted to. I was, I was laughing this morning doing some stuff, and I sent it over to Roxy, and it was because she loves Dane Cook. So yeah. I did. I said, look, just imagine you met Dane Cook in 2000, and I did a young version of Dane Cook. With the with the just young yeah. Roxy as she is now, uh, and uh, it doesn't make my face younger. I didn't right. do your younger. No, it, I, oh. when I tried no, it, it young. doesn't do anything yeah, to young. it. I did. I I was going nuts. I did a whole bunch of pictures that I threw my uh -huh. phone and just did. A, uh, did my mother-in-law <laughs> did that? Did friends of friends? But Dane did Cook looks so creepy. Yeah, you got to Well, you got to do it. It you, like puts a. It puts a no pore thing. I know. On so you know what face. I did? I did uh, one. I did one in you. black and white. I did one in black and white, so it looked. Better like this, like look at that one. Oh my god! Right? Isn't that crazy? Like, this is this is a black and white one. I did right after I sent you yours. Like it's better uh, with black and white, right? I mean, it yeah, do, you're right. It does have wild. like that super face to yeah. it, uh, yeah. thing to it because yeah. I have like a, a couple dude friends that I've called out before. Right. Oh, like, yeah, it, it looks like a Teen Wolf. Yeah, yeah the guy in Teen Wolf. But I, I you should post that. The MTV you should, Teen you should, Wolf. You should post it considering we talked about it now. But no, it's, I don't want to offend him. Oh, I'm fine. Because I love him. You think that's gonna offend him? Why would that offend him? Oh, he took the hottest picture with his girlfriend this week. Did you guys see it? No, I don't. Wait, so do you like Dane Cook? It looks wise, or you like Dane Cook because he? He's from Boston. Okay. All of the above. I oh, think okay. he's the Colin funny. A, I think Bay. he's the funniest. I think he's so handsome. Yeah, I think okay. he's wonderful. I think he's just fantastic. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got All got the got things. Got I mean, come oh, on. Well, she, yeah, she's not. She's not. She doesn't need the face app. I'll tell you that. Let me see. No, no she, I think she's. She's like It would turn. It would turn into a baby. Yeah. I mean, she, he usually just dates Laugh Factory waitresses. Is that true? Yeah, that looks like a Laugh Factory waitress. No, no, no. They've been getting together for like three years or something. She's a Laugh Factory waitress. Is that true? I've. She was. I don't know anything. <laughs> um, but wow. anyway, so Makuga is here. Did you hear? Oh, we, oh. We, oh, all right. Listen, before we go any further here, we're not going to talk any more nonsense because on the phone right now, talking about his brand new film, Chasing Molly, joining us in studio, he is the legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle. Kurt, how are you, man? I'm doing well, thank you. It's it's a pleasure to have you on the show, and and one of the things it's funny because we just had Chris Jericho on last week, and and this is I wouldn't expect you to remember this. Uh, you and I worked together back in 2001 at the WWE, and I say it all the time. You were uh, because I was a writer over there, and people always ask me who the nicest person was that I worked with, and every single time I always said that Kurt Angle was the nicest guy to me for sure. He was kind. He was he gave a lot of great advice, and it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Absolutely. So let's talk about uh, Chasing Molly here, man. How'd you get involved with this project? Um, Shelly Pack gave me a call. She was looking for a guy that could, um, uh, you know, basically uh, uh, be a drug kingpin. And uh, I was <laughs> like, you're, you're calling the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I can give it a shot. Uh, but, you know, she got a hold of me and my agency and, uh, we were able to make it work, and uh, I went out there, and I had a lot of fun. It was a fun movie to make. It was very funny. Uh, we were laughing, you know, during the scenes. We'd mess up because, you know, we were trying to get this film done, but it, some of the stuff was just really funny. And um, Shelly Pack and Jim Cashman, Felicia Day, they did an all great job, and I was really excited to be part of the film. How many days were you actually shooting for? I only went there for two days, and that was, you know, I, I thought they utilized me the best they could, because I'm in quite a few scenes, but you would think that would have been there longer. Uh, so we were able to get a lot done in those two days. And, uh, it was uh, it was a great film. The director did an excellent job, and uh, we were able to 
get what we needed to get, and we would move on. And, and uh, it worked extremely well. You know, Kurt, you've done you've done a lot of uh, your time at WWE with heel and and face work, obviously. But this is a, this this villain is he's a villain, obviously. So did you take a lot of the stuff that you've done over the years? Because you come from an Olympic background, and then once you got into the WWE and you had to do a lot of character stuff, and some of the character stuff you did over the years there was just incredible. Um, but do you carry that stuff over with you when you're doing uh, jobs on films and TV? Yeah, you do. I mean, you know, the, the difference is. You know, in WWE, you get one shot. Right. You know, you know, you're live in front of a crowd, and uh, if you mess up, you mess up, move on. Uh, but, you know, when you're doing movies uh, or television, you you know, if you mess up, they'll, they'll want you to do it over again, you know, do another take. So uh, the pressure isn't quite as uh, extreme as it is in WWE because, you know, you, you always know in the back of your mind, if you mess up, let's do it over again, let's do it right. And, uh, that, you know, the, the doing the uh, characters really help me uh, do whatever I do in movies. I, you know, I've done probably about 10 films, and uh, uh, it's, it's been easier for me, I think, than other actors because we're taught how to memorize, prepare, and, and go do it. And all in one scoop. Right, know? right. Well, you know, with that, because I remember even back when I was there in 2001, it was the when you guys were given promos and and able to. It, it, there was still scripts, obviously, but it, it was the, there was a little bit more of the performers like yourself or Jericho or The Rock could 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 take some of this material and make it their own. But it's it's been a little it's been more strict now. So that's why when you were there uh, recently yeah. as general manager and doing all the and, and learning these scripts. So that's that's what you're talking about, right? That you're able to do to to learn more because they yeah, treat you guys more yeah. like actors. Yeah, because you don't have the freedom to do or say what you want or, you know, pretty much, you know, now you can improvise a little bit, but, you know, you, have, you can't go off script. You have to stick to it. And I understand why, you know, they're, they're a publicly traded company. Uh, they do appeal to kids and um, I get it, but um, it was a lot easier back in the day when we were, you know, the Attitude Era, uh, the end, at the beginning of the Ruthless Aggression Era, uh, it was a little easier and uh, you got more freedom. But, you know, all in all, it's still the same thing. Right. And then so now, it's because you're taking a little bit more of a step back now, uh, obviously you showed up on the reunion show the other day and that was awesome. But uh, what, but you're taking a step back. Do you want to focus more on acting? Are you doing some more stuff with the family? What's what's the plans right now? <laughs> a little bit of both. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do some acting, um, you know, spend more time with my family. Um, I have a business that I, uh, it's called Bar Dad Nutrition. Uh, so I, I'm pretty busy, but, uh, you know, the one thing I did want to do uh, before I wrapped it up for good was do about five or six more movies. That, that'd be a lot of fun to do before I uh, decide to. Uh, focus only on my kids. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, you talked about uh, being on the show or being on the movie, doing a lot of comedy kind of stuff. Did, did you do any comedy training? Because we're all we're all kind of come from the comedy background, or did you kind of just run back in there? I I never did any training. I didn't even have any training before. You know how they have NXT for WWE. Yep. Um, I, I they trained me uh, to wrestle. I did that for about six or seven months before I started, but as far as on screen, you know, promos and pre tapes, uh, uh, I never practiced. They just, Vince just kind of told me what to do and threw me in the fire and said, you know, you either, you know, you either come out of fire clean or you're going to get burned. You know, one or the other, we're going to find out right now. <laughs> and uh, I, I was a little overwhelmed, but uh, I remember the first time he, he, he sat me down, he told me what to say. And, I'm li I'm looking at his his, li his lips are moving, but he's talking for so long. I'm I'm thinking in my head, how am I going to remember all this? <laughs> right. and, and after five minutes of him talking, I said, uh, Mr. McMahon, could you repeat that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what you said. And he was he was so, so pissed off at me, but um, you know he repeated it again, and then he said, go do it. Yeah, but and you I went out there. And somehow, I did it. Yeah, I remember when you came in. You were, you were just like it, it, you were on fire back. It, what was it was it ninety nine two thousand? Is that when you debuted at WWF? 
yeah, the very end of 99. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I remember that. because, And that's why, you know, coming back into your experience with film here is because, like you said, it's a progression in WWE where you were, because I remember when you debuted, it was like the, the cocky Olympian that could, could beat anyone. But then as you progressed and they were kind of knew your personality and what they could do with you, they learned that you could do those comedy stuff because then the, the whether it's the milk truck stuff. Or, by the way, that was my first day ever was, was the milk truck. <laughs> what a night! That yeah. was just hysterical. <laughs> but anyway, so like stuff like yeah. that, stuff like that, to where you they they learn who you are, what you can do, and then I'm sure you learn about yourself when you start doing those kind of things because you know growing up you're probably cutting uh, cutting jokes with your buddies and, and knowing that you were you always were you a funny dude like in the in the in the room with with your pals were you the guy cracking jokes or was that someone else? No, I was the quiet one. Oh, really? Uh, I, I never never really tested myself to. Uh, be the funny guy. I was always pretty serious, but you know, when I got into WWE, I realized um, um, if I'm gonna stick out, I need to do something different. You know, Stone Cold was pretty, pretty much the badass, and and he was so entertaining as as that guy that they didn't need two of them. And right. I thought, what can I do to uh, to to uh, add a different flavor? And I was kind of a goofball. Right. And, well- um, so the more I did that, the more they wanted me to do it. So it, it kind of uh, spiraled into a character that, you know, was basically, uh, you know, an idiot that, uh, <laughs> you know, people could make fun of, but he, but at the same time, he could make anybody tap out. Right. Well, Vince described it as he's a dork, but he's a dangerous dork. And, yeah. Uh, he was right about that. Yeah, and, and speaking, of the last thing I want to ask you about about that is that uh, with the reunion, with the, I thought that the it was a really kind of touching moment at the end of it when all you guys came out uh, and Stone Cold was in the ring, kind of gave that speech about family and and it, it. I mean that that to me that didn't seem scripted at all. That seemed like him just going off the cuff and doing his thing, and it was it was a nice kind of throwback moment. But can you tell me what what that yeah. that atmosphere was that night? Oh man, it was so so fun to hear that 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 glass break in Austin come out. It was like uh, I've never seen a crowd take it to that level. Um, it, and, and, and rightfully so. He is Stone Cold Steve Austin and you know uh, he he is, he probably had the biggest impact on wrestling besides Hulk Hogan, but I mean he was probably hotter than Hulk Hogan uh, for a couple of years. Yeah. So I would say he probably had the biggest impact in, in wrestling, period, him or Hogan. And um, to hear that and him come out, and he wasn't sure about what to say, and he just let himself go, and uh, he d- does what he does best, improvise, and the fans loved it. And he even told them, I didn't know what I was going to say. Right. I was nervous, but I came out here, and it just came to me. Um, that's Austin, and uh, nobody can entertain like him. And it, it was a lot of fun to see that I uh, I was really happy for him because he deserves that yeah I agree I think it was a nice moment for all you guys and um, do you ever talk to guys like like you know, whether it's Austin or Hogan or even The Rock about you know because you guys were you guys were or Batista guys who kind of transitioned over to movies and you guys do you guys ever talk about like uh, certain processes and things that you do as far as acting goes you know what we, we I keep in touch with all of them but we don't really talk about the movie thing I, I think it's uh you know, we, we just feel like that we're a family uh, that came from pro wrestling, and we we only talk about that, and uh, and we talk about stories from the past. So, uh, you know, we'll ask you know we'll ask you have a new project, and they'll say yeah, you know I'm doing this, and then we'll go back to the wrestling. But um, the the impact we made, especially in the Attitude Era, um, it's something that we talk about quite a bit because it was so so different and uh, I don't think there will ever be uh, an era that will have that much of an impact on the fans. Right. You previously mentioned that there's about six more movies you want to do. Do you have anything specific in mind in the age of superhero films or action films? Is there a character you really want to play or something that you're very passionate about? Um, yeah, I mean, I would do action. I, you know, I, I like that. Uh, but, you know, I'm 50 years old now. You know, if they have a, you know, a, a role for me and maybe, uh, you know, the Expendables or something like that, because, you know, an action hero now, you know, you're going to want him in his 20s or 30s. Um, you know, I'm 50 and, uh, you know, near the end of my career. And uh, 
So I, I would rather take comedy, but I'll do whatever. I, I try to stay as versatile as I can. And uh, I do a lot, a lot of different reads for, from, from action to comedy to drama. So, you know, I'm just looking for anything, really. And um, it, it, it's a lot of fun to do it. I, I know movies are a lot of hurry up and wait, but um, uh, it, it is a lot of fun to do it. It's, it the, the great thing about it is I think all actors feel very blessed because it's not a nine to five. You know, you, you go there, you, you screw around, you have fun. And when you're doing your scenes, you have fun in between the scenes. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a different kind of job. And it's one that I like better than anything else. Kurt, uh, my name is Josh Makuga. I am originally from Pittsburgh and, uh, I listen, I grew up in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. You're a Pittsburgh legend. I went to upper St. Clair high school. You actually, you actually came and spoke at my high school when I was, when I was in high school, uh, after you won that 96 Olympic gold medal, uh, I, I would imagine you're like in the pantheon of hall of fame Pittsburghers. Do you, do you get back to the city much? Do you, do you go back? I mean, I, I would imagine every, every time you go back to Pittsburgh, you gotta be welcomed back with open arms. Yeah, the city is really proud of my accomplishments, and it's really cool to have people tell me every day because I still live here. Um, Where do you uh, live now? I, 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 I live in Moon Township oh, at the nice. airport. Okay, I nice. Travel so, but um, yeah, a lot of people are just you know they're they're, they're you know how Pittsburgh. Is. Oh yeah, they're proud of their people. And, oh, you don't have to uh, tell us. <laughs> you don't have to tell us. He every, no matter what he knows. The second we said you were coming on, his face lit up and he was uh, ready to talk Pittsburgh. I don't think there was. I don't think there was a dry eye in the city of Pittsburgh when you won that gold medal in '96. Man, I, I, I will say that from yeah, from a personal uh, standpoint. No, you're right. Everybody here is Pittsburgh proud, and uh, it, I'm proud to be a part of Pittsburgh. Yeah. So, no. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So my, my mom and dad were both elementary schools in the Keystone Oak School District, and there was a and and through Mount Lebanon and stuff. So the angle name has been thrown around the Makuga household here and there. And when you got in the WWE, <laughs> my, my mom and dad were like, "Look at you, Josh. You you're big. You could do the WWF." And I was like, "Ma, I'm, I'm not Kurt Angle. I, this is ridiculous." <laughs> no one is, and that's. Oh, a, that's in, yeah, no, it is, and that's why they're they're lucky to have you here in, in Chasing Molly, which once again, everybody, it's available now on streaming, and you can also get it at Amazon.com and Amazon Prime. Kurt Angle, the uh, the WWE uh, Hall of Famer, legend, and Olympic gold medalist. But we also uh, the other thing we had to talk about, Kurt. Here's the other day we had on Frank Grillo, and we were talking about um, Warrior, and we just. Uh Oh, yeah. That movie, man, and you were so good in that as well, but that movie is, to this day, and I think Frank even said it himself when he was on, and when it came out, people, I think they were so used to MMA movies, kind of, whether it being crime movies or not really knowing what yeah. to do with them. This was like the first sports movie. Did it feel like that when you were shooting it? Yeah, you know, the, the great thing about this movie is it had such a great backstory, and, and that was the difference between this MMA movie and any other MMA movie. Um, they had an incredibly... Uh, uh, unbelievable backstory to it about the dad and the son. Yep. And, um, you know, I was a little disappointed because I had to learn how to speak Russian and they uh, took all my speaking scenes out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. They thought that Kobo would be better not saying anything. And I was like, damn, guys, you got to be trained for six months doing this stuff and, uh, and uh, you're not going to put it on. Uh, so, but I. Uh, Besides that, I had a lot of fun making that film. We actually filmed that in Pittsburgh. That's what I was going to say. Is none of your, none of a lot yeah, of the scenes that you were in weren't in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I got to sleep in my own, you know, my own bed every night. Yeah, so that's awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, Have you spoken to Gavin O'Connor about any of the projects he's working on and possibly pairing up again? Yeah, yeah. Gavin's a great guy, and uh, he's. Uh, you know, he, he said that if he ever finds something for me, he will, you know, he'll help me out. Uh, but, you know, I think he would have helped me out by now um, if I didn't get in this, you know, a little bit of trouble uh, with, uh, you know, I, I went end up going to rehab about, uh, actually, my anniversary, six-year anniversary is coming up. That's awesome. Congrats, uh, man. August 3rd. I've been clean for six years. Congrats, man. Uh, but, um, yeah, I got in some trouble with some DUI, stuff like that, and, uh you know, that, that set me back. I mean, nobody wanted to use me. So, right. you know, I, I've been spending, you know, five, six years uh, trying to make up for that. And, uh, you know, Chasey Molly gave me another opportunity. I've done other films too, but Chasey Molly gave me another opportunity to come back and show everybody that, 
you know, I'm, I'm doing well and I'm uh, able to, you know, I'm able to beat my demons. And, uh, uh, th this film was a lot of fun to make. And, you know, I don't know if you've seen it, but, you know, it's about two, uh, two uh, con artists that are, they claim to be psychics and they yep. go house to house uh, trying to, you know, giving psychic readings. One's doing the reading, the other one's robbing the house. That's how they make them. Yeah, they rip you off. Yeah. yeah. I did and see it. I accidentally steal drugs for me. Yep. And they, they didn't mean to, but uh, then they spend the rest of the movie trying to pay me back. It's a really good story. I love the ending as well. I will tell people stay uh, until that because a lot of vindication for yeah. the people in it, which I thought was um, pretty cool. Well, Kurt, fun. you know, I'm glad you brought, you know, as far as the six years and everything too, because I, like I said, I was just a mass, massive fan of yours that I was, I was really glad to see that you made this comeback and the fact that when you came back to WWE at WrestleMania and then they used you in those angles and they, they showed that the thing on the WWE network of how you kind of had your, your reconcile with, uh, with Vince. And I just thought it was a really good story that uh, a lot of people should, should know about. And, and it's, and it's good to see a lot of these guys like Scott Hall and, and, and Jake and, and people who <laughs> kind of struggled kind of coming back and, did you, did Sean you Waltman. Did, yeah, Sean Waltman for sure. We had, we had Sean on not too long ago and he, he said the same type of things, but did you have a chance? Did you ever do, uh, uh, work with DDP at all during this time? Uh, he sent me his DVD. I, I do, I did use it for a while and I'm going to get back to it again. Uh, it really helped me. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't move like I used to and nor would I ever claim to, but I was still able to get back in that ring at 50 years old. And, uh, do my thing so uh that, that's a credit to ddp and i i do my own maintenance type of training but i added some of his stuff in it yeah uh but he this guy has done an incredible job he's saving a lot of lives and i give a lot of credit to ddp for what he's done that's awesome uh, uh, let, sorry go ahead, Ross. i know a, a part of the process uh and congrats again on on being six years that's yeah. amazing is going around and making amends and apologizing to people do you remember the first yeah. Uh, person, first WWE person that you actually reached out to to apologize, or was there anybody uh, from the WWE? Yes, it was Vince. And, uh, you know, <laughs> two things I said is, uh, you know, I'm sorry for, you know, the way I acted and what I did. And, and Vince was really, he's always been in my corner, and I kind of, I, I left the company, um, and uh, it was my choice. And uh, Vince wanted me to go to rehab and, you know, stay. But I decided I didn't want to quit. So I I, I didn't want to quit the, taking the painkillers. So yeah. I, I left. Yeah. And uh, he's the first person that I, once I got clean, all I did was text him. And uh, he texted me back just a thumbs up. Because he was probably still, <laughs> you know, not happy with me <laughs> about everything, how everything went down. But um, when they finally called me, you know, in 2000. 16 uh it was great because i got the first person i saw was triple h and then he brought me in to meet vince and vince didn't even say a word he just walked up to me and hugged me that's awesome and, it's amazing. Uh, it was like like a son coming home to his father and uh that's how i always looked at vince as a father figure and he uh he he, he helped me in his arms and said i'm proud of you and uh, he said now let's go have fun and uh that's what I've been doing the last couple of years. I'm glad, man. I'm really glad that that worked out. And uh, last two questions for you before we let you get out of here. Um, is uh, With Chasing Molly and working with Josh, Josh Sutherland, the director, did you have any uh, prior meetings with him? And, and did you, did you you know, when you're working with a brand new director, if you didn't, um, is it easier for you to kind of, you know, because you're Kurt Angle. Do you, do you, do you kind of you listen to the director, find out what's going on, do you give your suggestions? How does that work when you meet this director for the first time? Well, you know, I did a couple of takes and Josh pulled me aside from this and I need you to be a little more uh, hardcore. Uh, I need, I need, <laughs> I need you to swear a lot more. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I don't swear, man. You say, well, you, you, you have to. And, you know, I'm throwing F-bombs and I'm like, I can't believe I'm doing this. But um, it, I did, I turned into another person yeah. and, and it works. Josh helped me out with that. And it was a lot of fun uh, working with him. That's awesome. All right, last thing here too. So WrestleMania was was your was your last match, and uh, you know Baron Corbin. You, you put Baron Corbin at the end, and I'm sure you've been asked this question a lot. What, what what was there ever any talk about you and Cena doing it at the end there to be the final match because of you know because of the history that he was you he, you were his first match and was that ever talked about? Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it was it was an idea, and um, 
Uh, the, but I, I'm not going to put any blame on anyone. Okay. Um, so uh, the, the thing is, I decided to retire at Mania. Um, Vince didn't t- tell me, listen, you're done after Mania, after WrestleMania. I went to him and said, listen, I want to retire. And uh, I, I'm not able to do what I used to. And if I can't be the old Kurt Angle, um, I want I want to get done now because um, uh, I, I I just feel like uh, you know I was hearing a lot of feedback from people that Kurt looks like he's in pain in the ring and he's slower than he used to be and it's like God I'm 50 years old of course I'm slower so I think what they were hoping was Tina and me next year uh-huh. and uh, when I asked to uh, retire last WrestleMania. I told I gave I threw Cena out at Vince and Vince said, "Listen, uh, you have a program you've been doing for a year. I'm not throwing it away. It's with Baron Corbin. So whether you want to retire here or whenever, uh, you're going to wrestle Baron at WrestleMania." And I said, "You know what? That's fair. You're right. No, uh, I, no. I can't ask, uh, change the whole thing and you know what they had planned and say, hey, just add Cena in.' So I think that if it was next WrestleMania." It would have been John and I. I see. That, well, that makes sense. Uh, Kurt, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Uh, just to let everybody know, once again, Chasing Molly is, is available now on streaming or for purchase through Amazon.com and Amazon Prime. Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist and WWE Hall of Famer. It was a pleasure having you on, my man. I hope to have you back one day, too. Thanks, guys. You have a good one. You too. Thanks, Kurt. All right. You Pittsburgh proud. He's awesome. Yeah. He was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. We haven't had somebody from the WWE who wasn't awesome. It's true. Yeah. yeah. So, we've had a lot of good uh, WWE guests. We've had, we've had Paige, we've had Jericho, X Pac, uh, Booker T, uh, Kurt Angle. I mean, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. More, 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 more. You, Absolutely. You, you got to imagine, too. And I know this is like, I, I wanted to ask him, you know, whatever, but. I don't know if it's an insult or not, but when he won the gold medal in 96, yeah. he had a very thick Pittsburgh accent. I mean, it's an accent. And I imagine Vince and like the training of the whole thing, hey, there's Mark Riley, is like, we got to get rid of that accent. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a very right. weird yeah, accent. No, no, you told I me. Mean, you know? It was funny. We didn't even know that there was one. Right. You told us about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Um, and the fact that he, he lives in Moon Township was where my dad's dealership was, you know, still is, uh, where he worked for you know, 25, 30 years. It's right by the airport. It's a beautiful area of the city uh it's amazing he still lives back there pittsburgh's one of those places that like you leave but they pull you back in i mean right. it's pacino and in, in godfather three it's it's hard to get out forever you know speaking yeah. of us pacino in uh in, in once upon a time in hollywood was incredible. yeah yeah he was great he was, yeah great. he's good you All guys the, have, have you done the review we did yes. a review yesterday yeah. yeah um you missed it when you were gone right yeah. you missed so cool, much cool, when you were cool, gone. Cool, but cool, what cool, i missed cool, apparently cool. was something that happened with rogan <laughs> Dude, what happened it's right, so riley was there I, what happened oh is that what it says on your piece of paper it says rogan oh I, was try- I thought it said rock. I was like... It, it, I could see how you yeah, would think okay. that. Okay. Let me, <laughs> let me set the stage. Okay. <laughs> so it's Thursday, and most of the office is gone because everybody's either at Comic-Con or, or, or whatever. Or leaving. leaving, yeah. And we did Pretty live... Pretty empty. Yeah. This is a week ago. This is a week ago. Yeah, like last uh, Thursday. Almost a week ago. It was yeah. Thursday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So tomorrow mm-hmm. it'll tomorrow be a would week. Tomorrow will be a week. Seven days. Tomorrow, what is after Wednesday? Uh, Friday. Thursday. Oh. Thursday. Oh, okay. It's Friday. Oh. It's not Friday yet, but so we're set up for it. My plan was Zoo to. Zoo. As you rocks. No, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. I, didn't do it. I know he's gonna do it. He didn't. Well, then stop taking the headphones off because that's why he's gonna do it more. Just take it. Take it like take a it punch like in a, the face. Take it like a person. Yes. Take it like a person. <laughs> take it like a punch. Uh, in the face. Take it like you're in the city of Berkeley, where everything is non-gender and gender fluid. Okay. So, <laughs> did you see it there? Like, there's no more manholes. It's just maintenance holes. Blasts. <laughs> How is the, how is the cat video not the cat trailer? Somebody did it. Oh, they did? Somebody did it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's oh, that Sorry. cat's thing. Whew. Uh, anyway. So, okay, so I get out alive, and I was, my plan was to, like, eat something real quick and then get on the road as soon as possible because yes. I wanted to avoid as much traffic as possible getting down to San Diego. Because last year I left on a Friday, and it took me five and a half hours, Oof. and it was brutal. Yikes. But this was like a Thursday. This was a Thursday. So, yeah. like, I got down there actually really good time on Thursday, and I only had really get to Solana Beach. Anyway. I'm, I come out alive, and Jack is on the VR thing, the yes. VR rig, right? And he's walking around the office and doing this thing, and he's like, "Oh, I heard about this. Did you I hear did, about I did it? hear about this. Okay. Yeah, Jack talked about this. I did not. I did not. Okay. Okay. So Jack takes off the thing, and he's like, 
McCooks, you got to play this game. And I was like, done. I, lo- I love yes. anything VR. I thought it was going to be something horror, but it wasn't. And he's like, all right. So you put on the VR thing, and it's called, what is it called? Like I think it's called like Richie's Ledge or something yeah. like yeah. that. It's this very it's heights, simple right? game. It's heights. Right? So there's a cake on the edge of this like plank, and you got to walk out this plank. It's on like a 30-story building, and it looks so real. You like look to your left, look to your right. This elevator door opens. You have to walk out, pick up pieces of cake, and put them back and in this the elevator. This is the wireless it's very, one. It's the wireless one. Yeah. It's very simple. But then there's like these other games where you can play like Iron Man. It's, it's awesome. This game is awesome. So I'm on there. I put it on, and like as soon as I put it on, I take one step, and I was like, whoa, this is something that Jack nudged me, and I like walked, and I fell down. And it was really, it was really funny. You actually fell? Like in the game, uh. you fall down. Thirty you feel stories. Yourself oh, you could. I mean, it's realistic. Yeah. It's awesome. No, I'm not afraid of heights. I had no idea. Whatever. You, what? No, no, not at all. Heights? No, I'm just yeah. Josh not being afraid of Something, anything right. following. Well, that. I mean, like it's fair question. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I like to. <laughs> I'm. A, I like to jump off things into water, but like I don't want to fall off a building. Like that scares of the shit out of me. Right. Right. I don't think yeah. anybody wants. No, to fall but, off but the there's building. just something about heights that it's like, it gets yeah. people. Yes, yes, yes. It gets me. Yeah, I know that feeling. No, like I. I mean, did you do the game? No, I didn't Involved do it, it actually. But I will say, when I was falling, I, I just didn't Cody, you were there. Like, you heard me kind of screaming when I was falling a little bit because that was pretty scary. And then you, like, fall through the sidewalk. Is anyone taping this? I, nobody was taping oh, okay. it. Nah. Okay. So, so Roka puts it on. And he's very scared of heights. I had no idea oh, okay. that he was scared of heights. Okay. Not one bit was he scared of heights. Right? So I figured I'd do the Jack Hind thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, like, nudged him. And yeah. he fell over. Like, for real for fell. For real fell. Screamed. Screamed. Ah! Scraped his knee <laughs> and fell, and uh, scraped his elbow, and I was like, "Big tree fall hard, like old man fall hard." It scared the shit out of me because I was I was working at the time, and I was living there having fun, and like, I was just having fun. fun. And yeah. then I was like, "What the yeah. fuck?" How did he, he like, fall? Really scream, like, he, like, I thought something really bad happened. happened. Did you it not, sounded bad. Did you not realize how hard you pushed him? Yes, I think that was one. Yeah. Did you push him really hard? No, I gave him like a nice little like, nudge. Like I thought I did what Jack Hine did to me, but apparently I did it a little more. He stepped off and you were just like, ah, 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 and, he, like and he threw everything and like and he fell over. Fell like a sack of potatoes. Like a sack of friggin' potatoes, yeah. dude. It and like, clumped. you know when you're a kid and you like accidentally hurt your brother and you're like, yeah. you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, right. you're fine, you're you fine. Don't like, really you don't want to hurt with Yeah, you don't want to get in trouble. And he's a fragile mouse. He's fragile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guy tackled him. It's spectacular. He was hurting for like three weeks. Well, his like elbow was bleeding and his <laughs> knee was bleeding, and I was like, Jesus yeah. H Christ! Well, I remember when he was at he was in Houston and double toasted like did that one thing. His whole leg got yeah. scarred. I am convinced he's ninety five <laughs> because like every time like you just touch his hand and it bruises up. So I felt terrible. Like I see the blood and I'm like, oh my god. And he was like, it's fine, it's fine. We all playing jokes, whatever. Obviously, like people were giving me a hard time about it, and I felt terrible. But in, in like retrospect, the fact that he's fine is pretty damn funny. It's, it sounds. Just Hysterical, yeah. yes, but it, it wasn't the hot sauce debacle. No, it was not the hot sauce <laughs> debacle. Uh, I helped him like clean his wound, and you know he still went, went to Portland for his wedding and everything. But when he fell over, I was just like, not his oh. wedding. No, no, no. A wedding. It was a, a wedding. scene. Uh, uh, I was like, I, he's like, I'm so scared of heights. It totally messed with me. I'm like, I didn't know that. Was he I mad at you? Uh, yeah, he was mad. Definitely. Did he? Because I, te- I I like apologized profusely for like thirty minutes. Like you know, I waited around to make sure everything. Yeah. And then I texted him, "Hey man, still like really really sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't know. He has never texted me back. Oh, so he, I, he was I have off. never yeah. seen an opportunity for Roka to get mad where he didn't get mad. I've never <laughs> seen that. <laughs> he takes it and runs with it. <laughs> is it is like, well, is I asked Jack. Jack said he didn't get that mad. Jack said he wasn't that mad. Uh, nah. I think he was internally stupid. Steaming. I'd yes. say he was more rattled. He was rattled. The yeah. rest of the day, he was just like on edge. Okay. Great. Right. <laughs> yeah, and saying that he might have to go to urgent care. He, he spent I'm the rest you, of the day. The guy, the guy is poor guy. He's like, he's like, you know what he's like? He's like glass. Yeah. Mr. yeah. He is glass. He's like Mr. Glass. Wait, what did he have to go to urgent care for? Well, for his knee, knee or whatever. Uh, saying, but like, he's, he, he didn't. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. I Has think he, he been was just the last couple days? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. He walked it off. What a wimp. I mean, here's the crazy part. Urgent care for your scrape. <laughs> wait, wait, no, he wait hurt himself. Uh, remember, uh, remember, he felt he, something he's else. not a spring chicken like you are, and he's also he's got he, and he, he probably he fell on his knee and he hurt his knee. He's got bad knees. What are you gonna do at urgent care? Say so fix my knee. I'm old. What the hell do you think urgent care is gonna do? They're gonna fix it urgently <laughs> with care. That's not how it works. <laughs> That's where they got the name. Actually, That's what it was, literally, they didn't know what to name it. They, they, no they put idea. Neosporin Look on it. Look at old Lou over there and a band aid. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh man, I don't know. Yeah, so I, I 
did. I felt funny. bad, and I, I, I hope that yeah. he's okay. And I'm I sure he's okay. We, I hope we can laugh about it one of these days. If he's in here, if he comes in, I know he's on his way back, but if he comes in, we got to get him after the break to talk about it. Where was he? Yeah. Oh, he was going to the junket today? I don't know. What junket? Something this morning. Blinded by the light or something? No, he didn't do that. He did that back at Duke. Um, I got a quick New York story for you. Though. I would love to hear it. Okay, so I get pizza. to yeah, yes. it's about pizza. Mm-hmm. Is it? Spring oh, yeah. Street? Did you go back to Spring Street? No, no. I, they were they actually had a staying in Brooklyn because we were oh. shooting yesterday. We're going to VIP. Brooklyn. You know that. Oh, we are one hundred percent. So Can I come? Uh, sure, mm, perhaps they put cheese on the pizza though. So well, I don't want to hear it. Not any. when I order it. No, they won't do it. So hold, do this, it hold the cheese story. I mean, hold the New York story because yeah. my favorite thing now that my youngest daughter is doing. We have this art that's been hanging in my uh, on the wall forever, right. you know. And it's just I don't know what the hell it is. It's a woman with this. Uh, she's eating like pineapple or something, right? So my daughter wakes up. She goes, "Cheese, <laughs> cheese!" <laughs> and, uh, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, that's right, cheese." And, and then she looks, "Maymay, cheese." I mean, she wants cheese. Who's Maymay? <laughs> she calls herself Maymay. Why? Because she can't say Maisie, yeah. so she says Mamie. But why not I? I, I, I haven't got to that we kind of... There, yeah. so she, she hasn't she, she figured can't. out yeah. words All the completely. Way yeah. uh-huh. just, they kind of just make yeah. up. Like, uh, my little nephew is Coco uh, to my little niece. And yeah. His name's Col- Coco? No, 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 no. His name is Colton, but she can't say it's Colton. Judgmental. She's judgmental. You are a two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> not, why can't you just was. say, I want cheese? Do you think you said that at two? Yeah. No. no. Uh, not cheese. No, that's true. Yeah. It's very true. I want all the other things. I don't think cookies. You did. But even like water, she says wawa. Yeah. Yeah, but that Ooh, makes sense. Cookies. You're you can't say uh, may may is easier to say than I. Do they can't make full sentences? Yeah, she's not. She's, she's not even, even two. And I don't yeah. think this was conscious I want of her. Cheese. It's three words. She says may may chi, cheese. May may chi, and cheese. you know what that so is. Cheese. She's just learning how to cheese. form words. Right. May may cheese. Yeah. You learn, you like, you start to. You know your own. You know your, you know yes. your kids' language. Yeah. Totally. You start developing a, a hearing thing where they yeah. say words that nobody else can understand, and she's like, she wants to cheese it. You're yeah, like, oh, I, okay. My my wife know, knows it like like that. Totally. Like she can pick up everything. What did she call you? Dada. Yeah. Yeah, this morning. What did she call your wife? This morning I had, I, was, I picked her up because I, I we woke up. My wife was still sleeping, so I, I changed her. I picked her up and I'm walking out, and she she looks at my wife was sleeping. And she goes. Bye bye, mama. <laughs> bye bye, mama. mama. Yeah, it's more words than I want cheese. You are really you're gonna really die on this hill. You really, you really are. Gonna Did you do you try? You're like a scumbag, like like uh, like that homeless guy that was yesterday. Insane, though. Did you? But anyway, this is what we were telling you yesterday. What you missed? What you missed yesterday was Dagnino. Was he here? here? But he was uh, telling stories about uh, this homeless guy that he met on the street, and the guy asked him in for Comic Con. Yeah, and he's telling that he goes the the, the quote. <laughs> Paraphrasing, it was something along the lines of, "I see this guy, right? And I thought he was tattooed. It's really dirty. <laughs> Next thing I know, cops come out of nowhere, choking this guy out, making sure he's not on drugs or whatever. And the guy asked me for a lighter. I'm like, "What are you do with a lighter? Do you get a cigarette up your ass? You set yourself on fire?" Right? And, the, and, and we're like, "Well, that's a little extreme." And like, and he's like, "This guy was a scumbag." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What?" I will say. San Diego, the homeless people are, they have got gumption because I was walking back from Amer- Amer- American yeah. Comedy Club, right? So with my buddy. I couldn't find, the, like, I parked it. I forgot where I parked it. And we were just, like, kind of wandering around. And there was two homeless people in broad daylight with a large meth pipe or crack pipe oh, just lighting that thing up. And yeah. they were like, hey, you guys want something? We're like, nah, we're good. We're good no, right. no, no problem. Thanks. But, uh, but, but anybody says yes to that? Probably. <laughs> they wouldn't keep well, offering new, if they didn't. Yeah, new homeless people. Um, but what was the... It's very true. What were you... But the other thing that... Uh, new York it's, uh, No, no. So the, oh, and then RB3 came in. Oh, yeah. And RB3 Legend. came in. Yes. And he was talking about his Indiegogo okay. that he's got. He's got this cool, cool uh, thing, his, his short film that he's working he's on. He's talking about Timestamp. Check yeah. it out. So he brought in these Yeezys or, uh, that he had, right? Yeah. And Tom, on the show, the Schmoes No Show, had given them... To him, but then, but, he, but off off camera, f- cut him a price of two hundred bucks, which for you is pretty good. So wait, okay. just stopping there. Is it a gift when you charge somebody? No. Okay, just to be clear. Yeah, he thinks it's a gift because he got them very expensive. Cheap. Wait, RB three thinks it's a gift or Tom, no, no, Tom, Tom thinks, thinks it's a gift? gift. Yeah, he's, right. he's mistaken. Okay, <laughs> and so many reasons that I'll continue. It'd be yeah. like if uh, on Christmas my mom gave me an invoice for what she spent, and like he's like, I got you a deal on right. these. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, uh-huh. that's what he my got, mom he does. Got, <laughs> he cut him. He cut him a deal. He didn't give him a gift. No, of course. So RB three. Around six months ago, maybe, maybe less, texts me and goes, So I went to uh, go price these out. <laughs> fake. <laughs> Shoes were fake. 
<laughs> and they're in here. They're, I can't believe you didn't hear about this. this it's yeah, all it I've was, been talking It was a about. half an hour we talked to the two of them yesterday about this. And, and Is Tom saying he didn't know they were fake? Or of course he's, he's saying, saying he didn't, didn't know they were yeah. fake. He's, he, said, he said, but still, but I can't believe even though they're fake, those are like $400 fakes. He kept changing the price <laughs> of it. It's like 400 300 600 Yeah. <laughs> I was the only one grilling him, though. You guys were letting him off easy. I don't think so. Winston was going after him pretty hard, too, which yeah, is great. Yeah, Man, did. how many people were on the show yesterday? So it was RB3, Winston, Dagnino, Rox, myself, and then Riley was in the booth. Wow, yeah. packed. Yeah, wow. But, wow. Damn. but it was a, it, it's, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's worth listening to to go back to on the road if you if you have somewhere to go. The last half an hour yesterday. <laughs> what did show. people yeah. think? I don't know. What did they, who did they agree with? I don't know to be honest <laughs> with you, uh, Cody. <laughs> did you keep up with any of that? Do you know what the where the fans were siding? It had oh, to be RB three. Yeah, RB three. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Is there anyone? I, is there anyone who follows this show that thinks that Dagnino didn't know? No. No. Yeah. He. I mean. Come on. He what is, is the ch- what is the chance that he pays RB three? I think he'll get, he said he said that he was going to donate a hundred bucks to his Indiegogo. Indiegogo. I think he should donate two hundred. That's, That's what, what I said. I said. No. If enough people, if enough people, That's keep, what everybody should yeah. have said. If enough people talk, keep saying to him to donate it, or yeah. ask him if he's done it, he'll do it. But he's like right now, he figured because he said it on the air, and everyone will forget about it. Just no. don't let him forget. I'll, about I'll it. tweet at him every day. Yeah, yeah, and just say, did you did you donate that hundred bucks? <laughs> right. Because Winston gave him five dollars on the spot. Oh, sure. Winston gave him a five dollar bill. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to his Indiegogo. I mean, they, listen, it's RB three. The dude, I love. He's I, one of the smartest ki- the I kids I know. Too. He's the and best. He listen. I saw him Thursday night. He he taped all of the um, the comedy show. How was the comedy, the comedy show? show? It was great. Yeah, both shows sold out. Fantastic crowds. Yeah, it was um, good. It was awesome. everything thing first. Yeah, but. but he was there on Thursday, and then he was there on at the Schmo Down on Saturday. Yes. and like anytime I just watch that dude, just lightens up a room. He, he just he's brightens so up a room. I said in the beginning how I opened it up. I had breakfast with him every day when I was a comic oh, on nice. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it was my, the highlight of my, my trip. What does he want to do? Direct? Yeah, it was to direct and write. Yeah, but you, yeah. um, but you, the comedy show was on Thursday night. Thursday, fantastic. I heard Mulligan destroy. She was great. Or she she was, destroyed. She was fantastic. Yeah. Um, what did she talk about? I it's, here's the thing: is back in that green room is where the only place you can really be, uh, and you can't hear it that well. There's a screen, but you can't hear it that well. A so lot of people, people are talking. Laughing. Heard a lot of people laughing. I will say the early show. I think that that like I don't know. If the comics did better, but the crowd was just way warmer. And the I second think there was more people in the first one too, right? Yeah, a little yeah. more. Yeah, um, and then the second show, I think they just needed a little warming up for sure. Mm. Um, also, people are probably tired. They did Comic Con all day and right. then totally. go to a late totally. show. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that was Saturday at the Schmodown too. I think they just needed. I mean, we, I was out there for forty-five minutes, right. getting them ready to go because well, it they, was, they were ready because once, yeah. once it started, that was it was funny because we had probably like I think it was a total of like three ten okay. in the crowd, but it was um, it's a big room. It's a big room, but there was three ten, but the, the, it was. Even though it was a jammed room, and you probably could have fit a bunch more people yeah. in there, uh, it was the most engaged crowd I'd oh, seen for in sure. a long time. Yeah. When, when Rachel hit, uh, when Rachel hit that stage, it was it really was like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Moment. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it was crazy. Like they they went because who was sitting? Someone was sitting. No, ba- Bateman was sitting in the audience, and he says he leaned over to his friend, and he's like, "Watch the ovation." That uh, that Smets gets right. And Smets got a good ovation. Yeah. He's watched watched the ovation at Kalinowski. Kalinowski got like a really good one. Yeah. Nothing and like Rachel. No, yeah, it, dude, it was crazy. It was, it was bigger well, than also, me and Mark for sure. Yeah. I hope this isn't a spoiler, but she also wore this like white sequinly fabulous Lord of the Rings style. Yeah, yeah. Lord. Of, but she it was told like, me before the show, like she's like, "I'm upping my Galad- is Galadriel." Is that what you said? Galadriel. Galadriel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She did, and yeah. the music with David B yeah. was so good. Clark walking out with her. It's great. That match, by the way, for people, it goes up on Friday. You can see Kalinowski and Rachel going at it for the title on the Schmodown channel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was, it, and I was so bummed that I missed the actual show this morning because I legitimately had to get on the road and drive back to LA because my flight for New York left at 7 a.m. on Sunday. Why couldn't you leave from San Diego? Why couldn't I leave from San Fly Diego? Why from San Diego, she's saying. Because, I mean, I. I didn't really even ask. Okay. Yeah, fair question. Yeah. Uh, fair answer. Plus, I had to. Le- I mean, they were paying for my parking, and I'm not going to park in San Diego and then drive back on a weekday. I'd right. rather just drive train. back that night. Right. No, Speak- I'm not taking that train. I heard the okay. train's amazing. It's I took fun. the train there, and it was legitimately unbelievable. You loved it, right? I hear it's great. I've never done it. I am obsessed with it. I know. It was so good. It was, And then I walked to my hotel that was that right nice. from the train. The train was epic. I got wasted. Yeah. It was so fun. I had because we did business class. We our seats were saved. Oh. It was. Who'd you go with? You got to do business class. Uh, Skybound. Oh, I don't know if you if you rode with someone in particular, the Skybound crew. I mm-hmm, see. I see. Mm-hmm. And it was. Uh, you loved it. Oh, uh, did first you time? take it back? No, I drove back oh, okay. because my the only train option back 
when I Wait, went to book it. You drove back with who? Oh, the staff, my friend. Oh, she drove. She drove she back, drove. and so just, I hopped in her so car. I left my car there from last Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. No, the, then, the only train back was at nine a.m. and I was Sunday morning. Nope. I woke up and was like, Mm-mm. right. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, like I would. I've done the train back and forth, and I don't mind it. Uh, but like that night, just getting out, there was no traffic. We got back to L.A. in like under two fifteen. Yeah. It was fine. That's that's the magic trick for when you're doing it because it was the same with me. I left on Wednesday morning. Probably like ten o'clock. Got there in two hours, ten minutes. Yeah. Left. You ha- you've got to catch it the right time oh, on yeah. Sunday though, because if you uh, like, I was a little worried because if you leave anywhere, probably after like ten thirty, mm-hmm. you're screwed. Done. Maybe like 11. I left at like ten, ten fifteen, and I made it back at like yeah. twelve. Yeah. We. 12. I left at around three o'clock on Sunday. And you're fine. Absolutely fine. Wow. Shocked. Yeah, La- uh, two years ago when Ben and I drove back, yeah. seven hours. Yes, so you got Jeez. lucky. I don't know what happened. You got lucky, yeah. We like stopped for lunch, continued, Jeez. hit nothing. But you were no expecting traffic. a long ride. Oh, I was like, okay, so we're leaving now. It's going to be five hours. Right. Let's just prep for that. And you did it. No, wow. it was under three. Good for you. Crazy. Well, uh, can we go back to New York? Oh, yeah. I happened. would love to. We're going back August 31st. Get your tickets. Can to I yes. com. Perhaps let's see what Snyder can do. He is lowest on the polls right now. Uh, I have seen that. The polls yes. are moronic. Yes. I talked to him yesterday. Yeah. He's fine. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's Snyder? Yeah. yeah, he's very confident. Yeah, and fine. New York, uh, the pizza story. Okay, so I get to New. I get to you know JFK, and we. And I'm staying in Brooklyn. It's like I was staying in Williamsburg. This super hipster, nice yeah, hotel. Yeah, yeah. It was really, really nice. You should have flown into Laguardia. <coughs> no. Let me finish this fucking pizza story, please. <laughs> I was the one who brought it back up. I know. Yeah, I just why, wanted, why is Laguardia better than JFK? But for Brooklyn. Oh, I don't know. They, anyway. They're not paying for. I'm not paying for the place. Yeah. And act. Here we go. So I go to the front desk. I was like, "Hey, uh, I'm, I I miss pizza. Where's what do you think like the best pizza coast to here is?" And she's like, "You can walk to. It's like a ten minute walk. It's called Polly G's." I was like, "Okay, no problem. Polly G. Polly G. Good not Polly D. Right? Polly G's a lawyer. Good pizza. Yeah. Polly G. Polly G's. Lawyer from Smodown. Go ahead. There you go. Okay. So. Uh, it's uh, 90 degrees, 90 percent humidity. It's so effing hot. I didn't bring shorts, right? Uh, because I was just I had wardrobe that I had to wear for the next day, and that's pretty so much all I brought. Dude, and because men shouldn't wear shorts. Yeah, well, Don don't wear shorts. Sopranos, everybody mm-hmm. knows that. Mm-hmm. So uh, I start walking to Poly G's, and I look into the thing on my GPS, and it's like a oh, 10 minute walk. I'm like, okay, no big deal. For whatever reason, everywhere I turned, there was some sort of construction that blocked oh, no. my view. It was a 25. When I got to Poly G's, dude, I had soaked Drenched. through oh, everything. Your sweater, yeah. I had like seven pieces of pizza. It was worth it. <laughs> Poly G's was real. Was I was, good, I was so. bought a whole pie for myself. Was I, was like, was, I started walking back with the pizza. I'm like, ah, I'm taking a little walk. Right. It's what, do you, warm outside. what do you do? You order just the regular? Do you get pepperoni? Uh, no, any slice they had, I just ordered them all. Oh, oh, nice. You know, if they, they had seven different slices, I ordered seven slices. Yeah, I don't I'm only do that. I'm only, I'm only You're cheese guy. or mushroom. Really? Mushroom. But cheese, cheese is my. But you ch- communist. I apologize, but cheese is the, <laughs> cheese is the one for me that I always get. I only get mushroom when it's subpar pizza. Yeah. When it's really good pizza, I'm just cheese. Hmm. See, I go cheese. I go pep. Give me a sausage yeah. mix. Yeah. I, they had all kinds. of Poly G's in Greenpoint. Good, fantastic. Did you have any of the pizza that we had in San Diego? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah, what the fantastic. fuck was that all about? Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the story. That's the story. So sweaty. That's I just story. like I sweated through my pizza. You don't that's like that wow. story. I, I, I expected expect better it from more. You expect it, His no. stories usually go better than that. You expect the broker getting wanna... injured again? Yeah, I was yeah. hoping. I'm just saying, like, I will, I will do anything for, for New York South pizza. pizza. 25 right. minutes. I guess. It, was, it was okay. It just it felt like a buildup to something. Well, yeah, yeah, because because you we came back to it. And we came back to it. Yeah, but, well, another thing that came So Barstool does, similar to our buddy who does the Land of Zah, right? Barstool's been doing it for a while. They go to pizzerias all over the New York. and. They finally, uh, my favorite pizza growing up as a kid. It's, I don't think it's just New York either, though. I think they they've do. done Boston. Yeah. Anyway, they, they do, done, I yeah. do, but yeah. I mean, it, primarily New York, you know. And so, anyway, they, they my favorite place growing up in my neighborhood was this place called VI Pizza, and it was finally they talked about it. And what they didn't have there, what, what no one told them to do, was you got to get. He he think he just got two regular slices. I don't normally get Sicilian slices. It's, mm-hmm. it's not really the thing, but you have to at VI Pizza. Yeah. It's like a, it, you have to get the Sicilian slices. It's slice. like Spumoni Gardens. You've been to Spumoni yeah, Gardens. Yeah, you got to yeah, get, the gotta Sicilian. get the Sicilian yeah. slices. So Makuga, I, t- I said, this is my place. And he goes, we got to go. We're in New York. So we're going to go either on Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Probably Friday. Friday. You're yeah. definitely yeah. going to New York? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because I'm going to do the Ella shows right. on Friday. And then, Can I go? You know, you, you've, I mean, asked, you've asked about New York if you know, a thousand times. It's the same answer every time. I know. Yeah. I mean, and I've become an integral piece of the crowd warm up. Yes, you have. Me too. Yeah, and Sheridan's going to be on that card too. Josh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sheridan will be on that card as well. Really? Yeah. For Shmodo? 
for uh, for the com- for the oh. comedy show because he's gonna be working the show. Oh, nice. Right, right, so, right, right, right. so yes, he'll be he'll be on the card too. But what about uh, Mulligan? I don't think she's coming to New York, hmm. but she should be getting up more because she absolutely slayed from yeah. what I heard. She was she was great. Do you think she talks about her family and kids? Yes. She did. So, she yeah. talked about that. Yeah. She talked about some really deep shit too. Um, Were you there? I heard about it. Mm. I heard about what she said because we we actually talked about because I had heard about it once of what she did and what she talked about and I said, "Whoa, that could get dark quick." And then when we were walking back from the boat party, she told myself and Mark, well, Mark had already seen it, but she told us what what she had said and how she did it and where it went from. And I was like, it's, "She's she's ballsy. She's super ballsy." What was it about? You can't. Say I'd rather her talk about it because it's a personal story. And and I also don't think that I can. She's coming on Friday, right? She'll be Friday. 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 She can talk about that. You're not, but you can listen to. You can listen. That's true. Um, But anyway, so it it was something that she did that I thought she was really brave to talk about in general. But the the way that she even spun it into a bit because that could turn the the actual bit itself. When she brings it up, you go, "How are you going to make this?" This goes back to our conversation that we had about anything can be funny, right? How you do it, because initially when she brings up this particular um, subject matter, people felt uncomfortable in the audience. She said so as much. And then she spun it in a direction that it became funny. And Did Ellis say it worked or yeah. did he not hear it? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, thought, he, he, he was the one initially who said it could have gone in a place that most people won't try because you can't make that funny. And she made it funny. Mm-hmm. You can't say what it was about. It was just uh, – no, not – it's just an experience that happened to her when she was, when she was younger, about 10 years ago, that she can, she can bring up on the show. That I love, I love, it's, it's a personal story, so I'd rather her – and even though she tells it on stage, it's to, I don't feel that it's right for me to be the one. To say it, you know, it. Um, and I guys, I like, I didn't. Ken and I kind of went off on that cats trailer, dude. That was so much fun because it's never going to work anywhere else because that that trailer had just come out. Oh yeah, and like I was it's going like around Comic Con. Yeah, I was going around the audience like doing cat stuff. It, it was went it went pretty well because yeah, that just that trailer out, yeah. is fucking terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> but besides I, Judy Dench, everybody else looks terrifying. I Judy Dench just that. looks like Judy Dench. What would you rather see? It cha- chapter two or uh, or, or ch- cats? It. Yeah, because it at least will have like an entertainment value. Let to me it. tell you something. I <laughs> saw I saw the scenes because we went to Scare Diego that night. Oh, and it, they had the whole cast out there, and Conan hosted it, right? Oh, yeah. And they showed the trailer that everyone saw, but we saw three additional scenes. I, I am not sitting anywhere near you oh, no. during this thing when we take you because uh, I I you know me I I, I don't get scared <laughs> of these things I'm I'm actually pretty judgmental a lot of it because it's yeah. like it's 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 cheap a lot of times scares not the first day the first day was amazing and I loved it this some of this shit scared me oh I wow think, I feel like we should oh, reach out to yeah. I feel like we should reach out to Warner Brothers and get like a private screening and maybe have the dudes from kind of funny come down because they have a, they, they have, have a, a guy, you told me, yeah, yeah, yeah I told you and like get them to set up a camera and this could be like really good PR for the, it chapter two and, and this is right a bad idea yeah. this yeah. is right here yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we can over there Okay. Yeah, I mean, there it is. My girl over there. Send me. I think she still works. I'll reach out. You know to what her. you need to do when you reach out mm-hmm. is send them the it reaction. Yep. It's yep. got over like a million views. <laughs> yeah. And then say we want to do it again, but we want to do a screening. Yeah. Uh, and keep the cameras on to great. show how scary this movie actually yeah. is. <gasps> oh, that's that's an easy sell. Yeah. That's a good one. I think. Well, um, um, yeah. Yeah. I think we should go. It's, it's about ten minutes. No, yeah. oh. because I want to do this and we can talk about it because there is breaking news oh. and it's sad news. Oh no. Rutger Hauer. From Blade no. Runner has passed away at seventy five. Yeah, uh, how? Uh, he had a, it says he had a short illness. Oh man, he a passed short, away in his a home. Short illness. That's it what it says. Hit him, it just kind of probably hit him something fast, hit right? yeah. very yeah. fast. So okay. he has passed away. Well, no, just to be clarified, we should celebrate this man, yeah, man. and and close out uh, to the next break because yeah. you know people know him for Blade Runner. I'm throwing Lady Hawk out yeah, there, man. Oh, Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk is the best movie. Yeah. Ever, <laughs> Lady Hawk. It's not the best it's movie, it's ever, not but the it's movie, good. But it's, it's, it's really good. good. He's really good. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he was great, man. He was such a terrifying villain uh, when he was in the Hitcher. Too. That was the one that always that I first that sticks knew with me. Yeah, for sure. The Hitcher is creepy. That ketchup scene. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. yeah. I'm but, pulling up Rutger Hauer's IMDb real quick. Yeah, me too. I'm curious what the last thing he. Can you know, know Batman so do you have time to bring it up on the? Porter's was a TV show that he's Dutch. he had done in 2017. He's a Dutchman. Yeah. Well, that's too uh, bad, man. Rutger Hauer. Sister's Brothers in 2018. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was in, you know, Batman what was Begins. He, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, What was he coming at? He was, let's see. So he's, yeah. So we have, um, he's going to be in a miniseries for Christmas Carol. He's filming. He was filming that right now. 
174 credits on yeah, IMDb. He's been around Crazy. for a long time, man. Yeah. He's he had a very uh, storied he, career and Roy Batty from Blade Runner. He's yeah. he kind of instantly known as he that that look he gives in the you know the tears in the rain kind of speech he had. Right, <laughs> he was a True Blood. I remember that. Uh, oh yeah, Sin City. He was in. Um, uh, what's uh, that show, Wilfred? He had like yeah. a small little thing. He's which been was... working. He's been around for a very long time, yeah. and and it's it's that sad. I, I yeah, I feel like um, it says it says on his IMDb that he died on July nineteenth of twenty nineteen. That's where it's uh, yeah, it's coming out now. Oh, so oh, they, they just released yeah, it. Yeah, they just released it now. So I guess it Today's was the 24th, family. So five yeah, it's about ago. five days you ago. Know, good for his family yeah. for just wait, having that time. Good to for understand. his family. Yeah. You know, the, the, I I. I love hearing stuff like that, to where they had they had just just that it, they were able to, you know, be with him. You know, have it be theirs. Totally. Have them have that moment before. I mean, because they're going to process gonna get, it. Before process it's, it exactly. It's, it's you know, it's this. Yeah, where everybody's yeah, yeah. coming and, to and, and honoring him, obviously. Own, but yeah, to each their own. If that's what they want to do, or if that's yeah. not what you want to do. No, I know, but I just, I, it's, I'm just coming, just coming from a place over the last like year of things that I, I kind of I've been through to where mm-hmm. I, I didn't want right away when like when my brother passed. You know, it's like it was, it was really it was something else and I was blown away and I even said it as much on the on air when I got back that I was blown away by all the positivity and kindness that I saw from strangers from friends from people um, but it was still the I didn't really let anyone know or talk about it for a little bit because I wanted to have those moments with my family I wanted to you know like R- Riley said process it yeah and yeah, nothing. Yeah, people who don't who want to announce I, right away. I'm I'm coming from the, the opposite perspective because I got a lot of uh, like so much scrutiny and shit for when my mom passed, and I I put it on Facebook 30 minutes after she had passed uh. because I didn't want to text or call or deal with anybody. And everybody, like, there was so many people who were like, I can't believe this bitch is on fucking Facebook after her, like, all this stuff. So Fuck I just think to each, what? each their own, like, how you want to handle yeah, right. when you want to yeah, tell true. people. true. I agree with you. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just whenever your time is. But I, just, I think that it's great that they, if that's what they wanted, that that's what they were able to yeah. do without anybody banging down their door and right. asking questions. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, uh, Rutger Hauer also, big 2005, uh, Batman Begins what and Sin City. One? 2005 well, was, no, was what? It was a Batman big year for him. Oh. Batman Begins and <laughs> Sin City. But also, one of the most underrated movies all time is Blind Fury. Yes. I mean, have you ever seen I Blind know Fury? What it Blind is. Fury? Okay, so I don't he know plays a blind oh, man oh, with a sword. Oh, 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 it's a comedy, right? No, no. 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 Which one is it? No, he pl- it's a drama. So good. Okay, he's got this crazy sharp sword that is in a cane. Okay, okay? and he plays this ninja yeah, slash samurai, whatever. He would do, he would just stand there with his glasses on. He would go, yeah. And yeah. Yeah, and and he was because he just his senses are amplified. There was one point where he they threw his sword out the window, and he said to the one guy, "Start counting." And then he yes. counted, and he went back twenty five. Like he figured out how fast they were going, and went back thirty seconds and found oh, a sword, good. and it was just like nineteen eighty nine. Looks like weekend at Bernie's with a sword, doesn't it? I, it does. Yeah. but it's this so is good, one man. of the, the greats. Yeah, it's a perfect eighties movie. Oh. It's, it's he's fantastic yes. in it. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. up there with Lady Hawk with me. It was like yeah. you know, it's uh, would you call it a guilty movie pleasure? Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. Nice throwback. Yeah. 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 All right, we're gonna go to break once again. Um, condolences to Rutger Hauer's family mm-hmm. and uh, just uh, an absolute legend in the business. Rutger Hauer gone uh, too soon, to be honest with you. So, uh, guys, we're gonna be back after the break. Got a lot to talk about, so stick with us. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops in on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. New episode drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. 
Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, Every week, we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews, all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Hey, guys. Perry Nemirov here to let you know that The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. We also have clips on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared. Hopefully you survive the Witching Hour. What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the blue brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Perry here to let you know about the new edition of Collider Movie Talk. We are going to five days a week. We have a short, sweet 20 minute show where we focus on the two biggest stories of the day. You can expect to see all of your favorite Collider personalities on the show, including Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Haley Fouch. You're getting Josh McCuga every Friday. We are gonna have a blast. It's gonna be informative, fun, come join us. 3 p.m. PT live every single day of the week right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel. You can also find the show on the Collider Movie Talk feed on our podcast network. So go watch, go listen, however you prefer to get all of your movie news. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashotti on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel. And if you want to take us along with you in your ears, you can go and subscribe to the Collider Sports podcast feed for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations, and I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. And if you want to catch our weekly show where we talk about the latest and greatest in Star Wars, it's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel and you can listen, you can watch, you can do all of it. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever it is, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars. Episode 9 is coming out. And then after episode Nine, you got TV shows, so we're going to be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on. Be real. Blade Runner? What is that? Blade, Blade Runner, right? Blade Runner. Um, Should be. During the break, I was thinking one of my favorite comedies of all time is Private Parts. Love that movie. And I love what it was like. They, Robin leaves the show for a little bit and, um, because they make him fire. Well, they fire her. And, they bring on that dude, remember, and he crushes This is the him. guy. It's Carl Castle, isn't it? Ro Ro Ross, Ross is the character's yeah. name, right? So and he's talking about, he's like, because he, he's not used to doing radio. Right. He, well, he's used to radio, but he's not used to like talking and having yeah, right. conversations. He's just like the weather guy. Whatever. <laughs> so St Howard starts talking to him, and he's just like, well, when I was younger, I did uh, summer stock. And he's like, oh, you're very proud of your summer stock. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I know you're very proud of it. That's when he makes him watch the lady eat the kibasa. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. his, his eyes just like, <laughs> yeah. It's he's amazing. like, she's eating the kibasa all the way through the kibasa. And then the guy quits. Yeah. Never in my history on this radio show. <laughs> That's so good. Anyway, now I have to see this movie again. You know, yeah. Yeah. Do you know last time you saw Private Parts? So long. God. Oh, it's, it's on it's TV been a lot. It's been, yeah. it's on TV a lot. I think the last time was TV. I've seen that movie so many times. Dude, I was just in New York. 
York, and you know you're clicking through, and WNBC is the station. Giamatti. First time I ever remember Giamatti was from that movie. So good in that movie too. Howard fucking Favorite Stern. Giamatti performance? It, it might be Pig Vomit. Wow. I I mean John Adams he's pretty good at too, but yeah. like but I he's just like uh he's the motherfucking antichrist. Yeah. <laughs> he's screaming at him. So good. I love that movie. Do you watch Billions? Yeah. No. He's so good in I Billions. Know. I mean Derek, my I god. To. But you know what I else? think that might be my favorite, honestly. Yeah. I think my Sideways favorite for me. Sideways for yeah. you. So Sideways. Good. Easy. My, my favorite, and it's not a very Giamatti performance, is Win Win. Because he's you in Sideways. D- yeah. Absolutely. I don't know what Win Win is. You've never seen Win Win? Oh, Win Win was a good movie. Win Win was a fantastic a movie. movie. I love that what, movie. What was Win Win? Okay, so Win Win was, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, um, it was an indie movie where Paul Giamatti takes this young kid in who is like a fantastic wrestler and he almost like semi adopts him it's it's an it's an intricate story yeah. Bobby Cannavale plays his best friend That's his right. wife's played by Amy Ryan and i mean it's it's a hell of a oh, cast right. it was uh it was it like it won it won a jury award at like Sundance or yeah, Toronto there it is. or something yeah. there it is Roxy. Roxy that, that's what the cover of it looks like yeah. Yeah. i have seen a just this. fantastic movie sure, i love that, that movie kid? i don't know oh jeffrey tambor yeah T- tambor plays uh the, like remember. his assistant, remember? Melanie Linsky. Huh. Eight, Eight years, years ago. ago. Eight American years ago. Splendor. Margot Martindale. Yeah, Margot Martindale plays the other I lawyer. I love her. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good movie. It really is a good movie. It was, it was, uh, it was around the award season. So totally. People were talking about it for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, moving on. There's some news that we haven't talked about, so let's uh, let's get into uh, it. We got what? What? Nina Arianda, who's in Billions, the the girlfriend. Oh, yeah, totally. She plays the secretary. This girl, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, she's amazing. All right, this news, yeah. this, what do we got? Uh, let's start with some uh, Rocky talk, because I know oh, you yeah. guys like Rocky. Yeah, Sly yeah. Stallone was doing an interview with Variety and revealed that he owns 0% of the Rocky franchise. Wow. Even to this day. <laughs> I just did the fucking oh, wow. Owen Wilson. Wow, I know. Totally no. accidentally. But, uh, but how? Wow. Yeah. How was that possible? Well, he gave up the rights, obviously, wow. to, to star in it, and to he he made money off of Rocky, uh, just the script and the and the okay. acting. It's always and then yeah, let me get the uh, quote up because it it's interesting. He went back and asked, and basically the the rights holders were like, "You're making millions in all the movies you're doing," and. So let me get the quote. He thankfully brought uh, back his, uh, oh, sorry. I mentioned it a few times because after Rocky II came out and made a ton of money and then Rocky III hit and made more than all of them, I said I'd like to have some ownership since I invented it. And that never happened. So I have zero ownership wow. of Rocky. Wow. I think there was a certain code of business contact, maybe wow. not as much now, but back then, that you don't ruffle the feathers of the Golden Goose. The studio is the power. The agency relies upon them. And the attorneys are the go-betweens. When I finally confronted them just before Rocky IV, <coughs> I said, does it bother you guys that I've written every word? I've choreographed it. I've been loyal to you. I've promoted it, directed it. And I don't have 1% that I could leave for my children. And the quote was, you got paid and that was the end of the conversation. Wow. 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 Okay, so I guess to play devil's advocate for a second here. <laughs> not <shocked>. Shocker. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys know I really like Sly, and, yeah. and morally speaking, yeah. absolutely. But if you're a studio, I don't know if once somebody gives up their rights, what the benefit for them is, right. other than it's the right thing to do, which is not what they give a Some crap about. Some of businesses, right. Uh, what the benefit is, I guess it would be to keep him and keep him happy, keep but him clearly happy. they were keeping him. Yeah. So, I- like, do you think that nowadays, if, if the actor, like, let's just say a Rocky franchise, or, or, let's say they're going to make Creed 3, and Michael B. Jordan says, I'm not going to play Creed 3 unless I get 2% of the franchise well, going forward. He, he, didn't, he didn't invent it, though. That's the difference. Okay. That's the difference. But I mean, I, mean, there, yeah. I think that if someone nowadays to kind of go where, where you're going here, it, let's say Michael Jordan did invent Creed when you come up with it originally, and he, and he was unknown. Mm-hmm. Michael bet, B. Jordan, my, yeah. Just you better bet his a, you bet your ass that his agent is going to make that deal up mm-hmm. top. That look, this is what he's going to get, right? Because all the franchise, because this is a very different time. Sly didn't so, have that either. Not even just different times. Sly had nothing. But it was a different time. It was to, because it was back. This was seventy six. Star Wars hadn't even come out, or seventy six was when it came out. The first Rocky. So Star Wars even came out. So it was a big franchise thing. It wasn't a thing. No mm-hmm. one would have thought back then that. First of all, that he would have been able to start it. Right, and then second, um, that that this movie, this small movie that costs like about ten thousand dollars to make, right. would become Rocky. You would like, you know? oh yeah, yeah. Totally. You would like to think that people do the right thing because it's the right thing, or to make the other party happy. And really, it would be smart business to keep Sly very happy. Right. But that being said, I, I'm no part of this surprises me because why, in the studio's eyes, why would they give up money? I think that there would be a, a better argument to going back to the agent argument is 
after Rocky Three made all that money, that and because when Rocky Four was made, people were chomping at the bit for Rocky Four. Yeah. That's when he should have made his deal. He should have made the deal. Well, like, that's when he back. asked. But that's when he asked. That's, that, that's the whole when quote. He asked. He, right before Rocky IV. Oh, and this is my said? point. Yeah. But that's he's what coming he in. said. That's what he said. He goes in and says, no. yeah. I choreographed everything. I wrote everything. I started everything. I did it. Blah, 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 blah. And it's sly at that point after Rocky III. No and this points the, on it or anything. This but that's the biggest he's been. I think he should have gotten points on it. I that. That's not what happened. He didn't say, in order for me to come back to this next movie, this is what I need. No, I know. He didn't. He just asked for it. It right. and then and didn't even he said, "Don't you guys think that that's wrong?" Right, and right. they said, "No, well, you you're getting paid for all the movies and and every and they're probably looking at his career going, you you're also doing good have, right now. you're doing yeah. very well 100%. right now." Hundred percent, and I it's is it not right? It's not right, right that he has no ownership over it. I mean, he probably doesn't have any ownership over his likeness on the right. action figures. I mean, yeah. See, there are it's certain not, it's not right, but right. It there are certain sense. movies that like where people get involved, like Keanu Reeves shouldn't have. And I know he didn't write or direct the Matrix, but he shouldn't have ownership of it because you can plug in anybody there, right? And Stallone, Robert Redford, and all those people that were supposed to play Rocky, it's not the same movie. It's not the same franchise. Anybody Mm -hmm. else could play Neo other than uh, Keanu. Really? Um, That was a joke. I haven't seen seen the Matrix. She's never seen the Matrix. (laughs) Nicely done, right? It was Neo, right? Yeah. Red pill, blue pill, baby. That's true. Um, I think my. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I still don't know which one's which. And I've seen it a bunch of times. I always forget. Is the red one the bad one? It's got to be Keanu. The, the the red pill is, is Keanu, you think? He takes it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's what talk. makes him smaller. Let me good talk. Uh, question, am I getting there? No. <laughs> Do you think? Alice in Wonderland. It's it's actually why that that movie is referenced during that speech. Okay. So you're you're not too far off. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Uh, nice. What do you think? There's been. Do you think there's been discussions since? There's gotta be. I'm. You know, I mean, at this point, well, you mean I would, about Creed or, or, or yeah. any of them? See, like Rambo, he doesn't. Rambo, he definitely doesn't get. No, because he didn't create Rambo. No, mm. so yeah, that's crazy. I feel like, uh, and also incredibly successful. So there's a lot of uh, good things too. But Hollywood has effed with Sly a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's had to overcome so many things and work very. Yeah, everybody in the industry works hard. Who do we just have? It was Frank. I think it was Grillo. And I talked to him about that. People don't realize this because Rocky Balboa eventually became successful. Creed one and Creed two, they wouldn't touch Rocky six from like ninety until what was it two thousand and. Three or, or two thousand six. Rocky Balboa came out two thousand six. Yeah. So and because he couldn't get it made, mm-hmm. because nobody wanted, and it was a very different time back then. Where now the nostalgia and all the, the, that's hot. Right. People wanted nothing to do with Rocky six mm-hmm. because Rocky five was such a dud and it didn't work well. He was trying, and this was you could have seen a younger Rocky again, but the studios did not want it. He had to, and, and another Rambo. He tried to do that too. It's before the nostalgia craze hit. Expendables. Right. Expendables comes out, nostalgia, it, it, it has all the great action uh, heroes together. I think that's what really... Well, but he had Balboa, Balboa first. Rocky Balboa, Balboa? Came, yeah. Rocky yeah. Balboa came out before uh, Expendables. All right, I give you... It's not. Thank it, you. Is it a gift? <laughs> it's a gift. Okay. Yeah, it's $200. Uh, 200. Yeah, Cop that's up. Perfect. I give you any franchise. You can be the lead. You can be any character in any franchise movie. Who do you take? I mean, I could... Can I actually be the person? I have to, be, I have to wake up and actually still be an actor. No, I, I want to be the person. I want to be. be the, the, I want to be the actual character. Sure. Wait. What's the question? You can be any person any in character. any franchise, any character. In like my you, actual life, or I can get cast in that. Cast franchise. in that franchise. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So like you know, you're an actor, but you're like, uh, you're a fran- right. if, you're if, you're I'm, if I'm not the actual you person, you thought you were walking this planet and I was going to be somebody, somebody else. Yeah. No, no, All right, no, no. that's not the case. Actually, being in a role, I, you'd be surprised which, which role it would take. Um, be, to play it, not be the real person, but to play it because I'm sure it was a lot of fun and crazy. Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, yeah. Even though that's franchise. not really a franchise, you, it could be. It's oh, a, it's, you suck at this question. Oh. Yeah, he sucks at all hypothetical yeah. questions. Yeah. He's real bad. I don't. I don't, don't worry about Tough the franchise. Say. Do you think Tough he was say. a good enough uh, performance for an Oscar? Do you think he can be nominated? In I don't. Know. Yeah. It's too, it's too yeah, short. It's too yeah, short. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay. You get a fran- yeah. Roxy's better at these. Yeah. Uh, you get a franchise. You get a character in a franchise. Who are you? Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog. You get cast as Sonic. I I think that I would like to be Black Canary in the DC movies in the nice. DC she hasn't universe. Done anything. Isn't it? Oh, she's gonna be in Birds of Prey. Got, but Jesus, you see? guys are terrible see? at these. Questions. That was Josh McCook. I get to be a character yeah, in a franchise. How is no, that not a character? A franchise, franchise that already exists. DC. Like Rocks. No, it's not that's a franchise. Not. It's a brand. Black Canary doesn't exist. That's, that's not a franchise. DCU. It's a brand, not a franchise. It's in. 
It could be a franchise. It doesn't Woman. exist. If Wonder, Woman, yet. If Wonder Woman two. Once that comes out, that's that will be a franchise. The, uh, Captain America. It was Franch- a franchise. But, but, MCU okay, is a brand. Okay, so what do you want to call the Birds of Prey people then? They Nothing don't exist yet. yet. There's, There's not, not even a, a freaking movie. The movie will come There's out. There's not even a movie. Come I mean, on. Come okay. on. Fine, then Ray. Okay, there you go. All right, figure it out. Those Way are three go. movies. There well, you go. go. Even though dumbass went Wolf, Wolf of Wall, Street. Wall Street. I mean, come on. <laughs> Is it a wolf? Is he on Wall Street? He's doing it's cocaine. Like I feel right. like mine totally counted. No, it doesn't. You're wrong. We don't even know what it is yet. Well, it's not up, even a franchise. It could a suck and book. not even make another one. That's, I, it, that's not true. I, I feel like <laughs> I'm, mine, I, mine worked, right? To give, Ro- take Roxy some credit. The movie is going to come out next year. And it's probably going to be a hit and it's probably going to be a franchise. You asked what, who I wanted to be cast as. No. She's who <laughs> I wanted to be cast as. What it's not even a franchise, franchise. yet. It is a franchise. It's not. It hasn't even existed yet. I'm no. talking about like Rocky, Han Solo, Star Wars, well, Lord of the Rings. Oh, how is happened? Star Wars a franchise, but DCU is not? Listen, I'm bored with this. I'm just fucking um, embracing what's it. What's next? You're not going to let Josh answer his own question? Nah. It's for me. It, we, we killed the conversation. Yeah, you totally right did. Here. What's next? <laughs> it's like my pizza story. Yeah. What's next is I would be Luke Skywalker. Oh, what did he and do? And we're moving on. Thank you. What, what a surprise. Do? What did Luke do? What did Luke do? Oh, okay. made out with his sister. I thought it was actually a story. Yeah, yeah. What? Hmm? I thought Luke Skywalker. No, he right. would be. Luke. I know. I got that after th- he said it. I thought it. you oh. said you were a right spider. I thought, that's why I thought he said. I thought, I thought you were a right spider. That's don't, what I thought. Now go don't get your fucking Peter. shine box. Yeah. Don't tell Peter. Too don't soon. Tell Peter. Too soon. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, all right. According to Deadline, we have the Emma Watts uh, was one of the. I've heard of her. Uh, one of the big executives to come over from Fox to Disney, yes. and she is and has been in charge of all the Fox properties, including Deadpool. Deadpool was a big part of her, of uh, her resume. What other Fox properties was uh, she? Like uh, X Men. Fantastic Four, the superhero ones. Oh, so she's been there for a while. So it's official. We all knew it was coming, but she she has now handed it off, Deadpool especially, to Kevin Feige, and she's been put on all the Avatar mm. things. Now, a lot of oh. people are spinning this into like, ooh, what does that mean? What does that mean? It means she's giving up. Deadpool is going to not necessarily the MCU, but it's going to be handled by Marvel now. Makes me nervous, this one. That's what I was, yeah. This one makes me nervous because I'm definitely They're good a, with PG and PG-13, but are they good with R? Correct. And are they yeah, keep I'm it with R? you. Yeah, and I'm going to keep it on because I, uh, I was you um, okay there. What happened? Is, you not, is that still not, not a franchise? No, I'm just not sure. But you shouldn't cough into the mic. Oh, right. <laughs> and I did. That's right. It's real surprise you need pretzels and years. chips on yeah, there. Sure, but we're doing, we're doing it anyway. It's a party. Uh, yeah, I, I, this one. This one makes me nervous. I mean, they've they've clearly proven that they can. They they know how to make movies and and put it all together and and make it work, but. I think that when you say they, which people are you talking about? Which Mar- Marvel, oh. Marvel, uh, and so by going into um, Deadpool, and it's proven that people want this rated R. Don't don't broke what's not fixed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't, don't fix what's not broken. That's yeah, what you I, said exactly. it. I definitely. Refer, definitely <laughs> I heard as I heard myself say it. Don't, I, as I heard myself don't say, broke what's not fixed. I don't, that's a, that's a even good though thought. even though even though that that is that is absolutely. By all means, that should be that should be <laughs> talked about. Flip. It shouldn't be me. That <laughs> it shouldn't be you. Yeah. No, it should be you. Like, <laughs> Nobody else was saying. He was, he was about to. Was, you got you got to give it an extra five seconds. I, I was going like, is that a new one? No, it's like, just not good. It Don't was, broke. My, it's not. See, so ever do that though? You're just like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go shoot my fix. Yeah. And yeah. and it's like. My, definitely went went the wrong yeah. way. Well, we had a lot fix. of news that uh, happened. Fix my shoe. Just shoot now. my fix. Oh, they said shoot my fix. No, sh- like, well, yeah, that's what <laughs> I guess what they're doing in San Diego. Um, <laughs> crack pipe. Crack pipe. So we won't talk about the story, I guess. I, I'm with you I, though. If yeah. she was running Deadpool and that was her main thing to come over, I, I think I would want her to keep I'd running. I want her it. to keep running. Yeah, because she seemed to be doing a good thing. Yeah. Can, does she like live across the hall? Can they go and be like, "Hey, Sarah"? They're going to be in the general area. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's just a matter of you know if they're going to keep the. They got to keep that tone. Mm-hmm. They got to keep that tone because for, it, it, both movies have been successful, mm-hmm. and you don't want you don't want to fuck that up. No, no. So, you're uh, right. You okay there, broke? Don't fix. <laughs> Pain don't hurt. <laughs> she liked that one. Should have never right. came back. I know. What's I next? I can't believe this is what we got her on. This is the it, one I we never try to figure it out. Anymore. Never. No. Yeah. I don't try to figure. I it mean, out. it's like trying to pick a dinner place with my wife. I'm never gonna, never gonna never figure gonna it out. Figure so it out. I just keep saying, <laughs> yeah. El Compadre. 
She loves the hand. She wrote that up again in Comic Con. She's sort of laughing for no reason. It doesn't like work hand. well when I retell that story. Though. It doesn't work well when it was there. <laughs> no, yeah, I tried well. to tell. Yeah, I tried to tell a few uh, people about it. Yeah, you got it. It's, it's, Wait, it's a he moment. Did what? Yeah. Oh, he, he, right. It's a moment. Oh, whoa. Right. Oh, uh, the franchise I would like to choose is Marbles and Marbles. It's an upcoming 30-year-old franchise. It's a movie that no one will ever make. But I should, I'd like to play Annie, Annie in Marble and Marbles. She's yeah. a human marble that no, we can't from No, we can't gender to, swap. That's not uh, part of the rules. My so. favorite uh, franchise of all time is Eternal, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind. Oh, that's mine as well, too. Do we have anything else that we should talk about here? Uh, that's not what that is. Right. Do you want? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Ridley Scott is going to direct a new movie. Oh, yes. Who's writing it? Ridley Scott. Matt Damon oh. and Ben Affleck. Whoa! Uh, first, getting back together to write this it. This is amazing. This is amazing. Going to get together to write it, and they're also going to star in it. Mm-hmm. Why so. isn't Ben Affleck directing it? Uh, I don't know. I think he needs a break. Doesn't say. He needs it's, a little break. So he's going to write it. Although I, yeah. do, I do hear when him and Matt write together, Matt does a lot of the heavy lifting, and yeah, Ben probably, does a lot of the punching. The pitching. Yeah. He's probably the, the in the room and. Not yeah. that that's a bad. No. That's so how a lot process. of partnerships work. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, it, that's so exciting. This for me. is a great. And listen to this. It's based on the novel by Eric Jaeger, and oh. it's a revenge story that follows two best friends to be played by Damon and Affleck. And when one goes to war, the other rapes his wife. The soldier learns of this upon his return, but no one will believe his wife. For so whoever. he's left with one recourse: he appeals to the king of France and challenges his former friend to a duel to the death. Oh. And it's based on the true story about the last legally sanctioned duel. In France, oh, that's kind of sweet. It's kind of yeah. crazy. It also I'm sounds. I'm less excited about it now. Oh. <laughs> Why yeah. do you think it was gonna be like a Boston crime story with Robin Williams? Uh, how do you well, like Good Will Hunting, the franchise. Yeah. Oh yeah, my favorite franchise. Good <laughs> so Will it's ever. gonna be Good Will Hunting I'd Part be Two. I'd Mini Driver. Uh, yeah. Good. Which tells that sperm joke. Yeah, yeah. it sounds good. <laughs> uh, I think you just offended. Uh, never mind. No, I, I think it sounds good. I think I think uh, it does sound fine, but Ridley Scott right now. Uh, I'm iffy on and Matt and Ben working on a period piece because it mm-hmm. sounds like mm-hmm. well, I mean I don't even right. know what decade this was in well it was 1800s, 1800s, wasn't it Eight, yeah I got a 1700s what was it I, don't, I don't I don't know what century then I guess yeah. but early 1800s uh, that's not what late that's not what gets me super excited about them they might be amazing at it to- totally could be but they're uh, sure, it's just not the thing that I'm like. Oh, what I'm dying to see them write is this 1700s. Right. Do you think that they'll have like, hello, I'm proper Ben Affleck and I'm proper Matt Damon? Damon they like that. Are the they the love? Yes. It reminds me of Count of Monte Cristo. Are yeah. they mm-hmm. British yeah. or are they French? Well, that's what I'm French. saying. Will they be speaking? Because like when you do these period pieces and you don't, they're like, French. Like, I challenge French, you to a French. duel. French. Everybody do French. your best French accent now. Josh. Oui. Oh, I am Gérard Depardieu. Uh, I will be hanging out by the Saint River by La Rue. Christian. Come on, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mark. You will receive the large bump on your head. <laughs> That's Scottish, I think. I no, it's uh, Peter Sellers. Who smells like weed? <laughs> Cody. No, I'm not doing no. that. Okay. No. Um, Someone smells like weed. I don't weed. know how many people you? live in France. Maybe, that but that would be really crazy because I didn't French smoke accent. today. Oh, no. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Uh, are you I, doing I, a I candle do. from Bad oh. Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. Be out. We are gay. I am Frenchman and I smoke a cigar. Strangely enough, I think McCoy won that yeah, hands down. I think so too. Uh, I can't do a French animal. accent. Uh, why, why do you smell weed? I did smell for some reason. Oh, you know what? I know why. You have it with you? It's in my back. Okay. Uh, the, other, the other bit, just to close out this, because Roxy, I want you to get excited about this. Uh, yes. Nicole Hoffesener, who is the writer on uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me? Yes. She is also going to be writing this with... Uh, Damon and Apple. Oh, that's so. super interesting. Yeah. They but don't I, care. I actually think that that's probably uh, pretty important, especially if you're going to do a sexual assault piece to have sure. a, a, a woman in the room when you're in the writer's room. Yes. Because other we've seen before how drastically wrong some of those things can go. So I think that that's smart of them to include yeah. her. So also, I loved up. that movie. So. Can You Ever Forgive Which, Me was one of my that's, favorites. That's the Melissa Most McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melissa McCarthy he was and, excellent. Uh, and the Richard dialogue Grant. was fabulous. Yeah, Richard, Richard E. Grant well, should have He's an Oscar won. winner for that movie. The mind. Oscar. Mm. Yes, yeah. not how it works, but I know. Tough. I know. It's a tough I've never one. seen it. I, I finally. He was really good in it. Though. I was hoping it was going to be on a plane because it I've been was spending so much. I was flying Delta. It wasn't on there no, yesterday. Not Delta. Yeah. yeah, I saw the. Uh, isn't it romantic? The one with Rebel Wilson. Oh, I have it. I never watched. How it. was it? Terrible. 
it's there's it's like an hour and twenty the minutes. Todd it's, Garner produced it. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I thought I thought it was gonna be way way better, but they like it felt rushed. There yeah. was like three or four really good scenes, but it just felt very very rushed. You know what I doesn't feel rushed? Taken, taken Once long. upon a time in Hollywood. Yeah, it's like three hours long. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, I, can't I looked wait. it up though. It's all, it's two forty one, but 241 it, it feels, feels like, three fifteen. I and I don't want I and I say that. Not not uh, criticizing. I, yeah. I'm okay with it being that long. It was that good. I mm. I'm I think that I it's, Roxy and Ellis are on a different page okay. for sure. I don't dislike it. For yeah, sure, for sure not. I like it more and more that I think about okay. it. Like I I want to see it again. Is this going to be one that I'm going to be able to convince my wife to go to, or is I'm going to? I don't to... know. I highly doubt that she enjoys it. It. It's, it's, okay. it. It is long in the tooth, but it pays off. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I like a good long movie. So yeah, I, don't know. We, I, I really enjoyed it. I needed, mm, I needed more Margot Robbie. I True. needed forty minutes to go away. Mm. I needed some of this, wow. like legitimately forty minutes. I could have done with that. Yeah. yeah, it's not. I'm, I'm with the first part, not with the second part. Uh, uh-huh. Margot Robbie needed more to do for sure. I'm just thinking but. about selling points for your wife. Like, uh, yeah. I wish that you could be like, but Margot's in it a ton. Got mm-hmm. it. But thank you for that. I appreciate yeah. you you're trying to sell my wife because that would how that helps. Yeah, but you know. she's not. Yeah. She's not a Tarantino fan. No. Yeah, then it's gonna be tough. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's gonna be a solo. It's solo very mesh. Tarantino-y. Okay. Next. Next is we have a little bit more information on the What If series for Marvel and for Disney Plus. Uh, all what the is in, what if? What is what if if they change one thing? And how are the outcome? How the outcome is different? So every episode is going to be based around the Infinity Saga. Mm. So it's like it could be like that's fucking cool. It's not a if, franchise. It's a Infinity Saga is not a franchise. Go to sleep. What do you got? What if Captain America woke up in World War II or didn't go? You know, oh, didn't go did, into the ice? Did they actually pitch that? Uh, that this is pulling from the comics. So okay. people, we haven't heard what, oh, what the, the episodes, episodes are going to be yet. But that's cool, man. They so have they done a lot of so like what if. Tony Stark, you know, or, doesn't invent Iron Man. Right, or the Hulk never became the Hulk. Right, right. Right. So, That's cool. Yeah, very, very That's cool stuff. So we're cool. going to see. We're going to see. I, and I have episodes. a hard time for saying that. Why do you think they did the dot, 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 question mark so that you knew it was hypotheticals? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So do you guys it's always like, say, what if, what if? Is that how you guys are saying it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That was that was a series that we had an idea for to do on this channel. Yeah. Years, years, ago. years ago. Yeah. Years ago. What, with Josh and Oxy? What if Tom Cruise... <laughs> Was Iron Man, right? Yes. I, that, well, that I actually did do. Yeah. Um, so what if you pitched ima- an we, episode we of switched it, We switched yeah. it and called it Imagine That. Yeah. And that's still on That's on the Imagine Shmono channel. That, right. Yeah. But I'm, um, I'm excited about this. And, and everybody's voice. Er, like, the oh, US so it's, oh, cast? it's animated. That's right. Yeah. yeah. What's animated? This. this. Oh, this is this animated? Yeah, it's yes. animated. I was going to say, like I was going to say, that's expensive. You're getting everybody's right. voice. That's it. cool, though. Yeah. That's why I don't mind that it's animated, because then we get our people. And it makes sense how they can do it and they go in not one go bankrupt. Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There's another storyline that I want to see that's pulled directly from the comics that they're saying what this could maybe happen in one of the episodes. What if Thanos joined the Avengers? Oh, well, that's cool. I like that wow. idea. Wow. Yeah. Then what, what if was, Spider-Man what? didn't become a crime fighter? Mm. There's a there's a great Spidey comic where he becomes a professional wrestler instead of uh, instead oh, of crime fighter. Maybe he'd be great. good. I mean, he would be cheating. He would be he, because he has super strength, so he'd yeah. mess everybody up. Wow, steroids! Bone saw yeah. is ready. Do you think Barry Bond should be in the Hall of Fame? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> what? She's um, saying steroids in wrestling. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, sure, yeah. I had to get on the train there. Hold on. I don't know. Okay, I'm there. He's never been. T- he's never tested positive, but he's clearly done a ton of supplements. He was like 130 pounds. Then he went would to he like play for the Pirates, I know, dude, he looked little. like my brother. I know. He should be and in he, the Hall of Fame. You guys are crazy. Uh, it's so hard to say because it's like you hear if, if the conversation. I, just, I the can't stand him. I think he's an he's an he's just a shitty guy. Yeah. And the fact that he like all this is coming back, I think it's like it's it's karma well served. But his stats deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. See, but that's the thing. This is the, this is the strange thing. And I and I and I lump Sammy Sosa, and Mark McGuire in this totally. in the same conversation. If every single player in Major League Baseball was all on steroids, if everyone, mm-hmm. then I'd say, okay, look, this is a conversation. That everybody, it's 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 equal playing field. Yep. Because the reason why I think no is because let's say there was a guy out there that didn't take steroids that if he would have would have done better than Barry Bonds mm-hmm. would have had it would have should have done it more on I know but it's like that to me it's 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 cheating it's cheating oh, so I, I don't agree. think people who cheat should be I, recognized I just, as the greatest I, just I think, think it was, steroids should be legal to be honest with you should like, be legal it should, you it, said. No, like, legal yeah legal yeah, yeah. 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 more more legal. so the, like the, the yes thank you it's a franchise. Um, 
It's a legal franchise. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's mm-hmm. a tough. It's a tough situation. I mean, I understand both sides of it. It just. It's just equal playing field. I know why they did it. Also, I know why Major League Baseball let it go for a while because home runs sell tickets. Yeah, I oh, get it. For sure, it was fun to watch. Yeah, but I don't and know. Now they're juicing the ball because they yeah. need the home runs to come back. But it's like fighters, right? Like, so if there's a fighter who, for the longest time, was was doing steroids when everybody else wasn't, mm-hmm. and he was knocking people out because he's stronger than everyone else. Totally. Does he deserve to be in? You know, recognizes. Does he deserve to be champion because he's he's cheating? Yeah, yeah. So it's it. I mean, I'd I don't want to see steroids in like Olympic sprinting. I just like show me a seven second one hundred meter dash. Show me what that effing looks like. Right. I mean, if it's controlled and it's regulated by the government and it's safely applied and it's not like giving horse steroids to some guy at a gym in Omaha, then you, I think that you, if you did it right and you used the correct hormones and you had a doctor that was like, listen, you can use this. We shouldn't use this. It's not going to have the adverse effect. And there was like a regulation on it. I think that steroids in all major sports. Should be considered because it helps with recovery, it helps with pain. And steroids are very different than the ones you the, the damaging ones back in the day. Yeah, Never been to Omaha? Have I ever been to Omaha? No, mm-hmm. but I'm sure there's a gym somewhere that's like some bunky gym in a in a strip mall. So your line of questioning today, mm-hmm. correct me if I'm mistaken. What do you think I'm insulting Omaha? No, 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 no. no. This no. is what I've noticed from no. Roxy's South this, Dakota. This whole show today is that you're listening, mm-hmm. contributing when you want to, yeah. and then if there's something you don't want to contribute to, you hear a, a word. And then you spawn the next conversation from that word you hear. Yes. Okay. That's what I figured. Mm. Okay. So we're on the same page. What do you like about pages? Mm. Well, Paige was a guest of ours. That's true. Uh, Have you ever been a guest in France? Actually, I don't like pages because Why? because I can't open them from my phone. Did you ever close a door? Uh, sometimes. Do you like phones? Uh, when they work, yeah. I have a new phone. I really like it a What's lot. What's your favorite actually. place of work? Uh, right here, right now. Mm. Do you like the song Right Now by Van Halen? Mm. <laughs> that's it's good rocks was a, welcome uh, back Sammy Hager just rolled over in a bottle of tequila <laughs> we should clip that out that's later that's Mark yeah. Ellis Mark Which, Ellis did you Cody did you happen to pull any new sound bites did you pick did, uh, yeah I can pull some up what'd you get I made some new ones did, yeah. you, did you get the if it's fixed don't broke it no, I will. Okay. <laughs> Understood. I have Riley's classic one there. Yeah, just then we all do oh, it. Got some, some good news that, we, that uh, mm-hmm. happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't talk over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it Cody? Please again. Cool. We got, we got some, some good news that, we, that uh, happened. <laughs> yeah, we got some good news that happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. so, we have some good news that happened. <laughs> That's my favorite. It's really good. That's a good That's, T-shirt. There was some good, good news, news that, that happened, happened already. Happened already, yeah. as most news does. Well done. All right, Africa. I got one here that I uh, probably should have cleared with Roka before playing it Let's online, hear it. but I'm going to do it anyway. Please tell me you got the it re- screen. It requires a little bit of context. Okay. Uh, he was interviewing Don Johnson on his podcast, The Deep Cut. Oh. And as you know, that Dakota, I'm sorry, Dakota Johnson is Don Johnson's daughter. And they were talking about her first movie, which was The Social Network. And this was their conversation. Oh, no, the, the, oh the, the, right, the Justin singer. Timberlake. That's right. Justin Timberlake. Yes. Oh, thank you, God. She's That's the one that in the cute panties. That's today. right. How could you forget yeah, that? Yeah. That's right. Easy. No offense, easy. no offense, no offense, no offense. <laughs> so he's talking I just about... remember they said Stanford. Uh, That's all I remember. <laughs> He's, uh, that's his daughter. <laughs> what? I had to take my headphones off. Wait. I couldn't listen anymore. What? I literally couldn't listen anymore. He told... They laughed it off. It was very funny. But... Uh, uh, the best uh, is Don Johnson goes, easy. Easy. <laughs> Uh, How is that uh, not viral? How is that internet that interview not like the to- viral? Wait, did, was a... did, did he forget that for a second? Is that why Roka said that? Did he forget that? that it was his daughter? I don't know. Uh, is he out there? Where is Roka? Get no, him in here. We have so much to talk to him about. To ask him. Is he out there? Yeah. Oh, John bring him out. John, come in here. We need you, we need you in here. Can some uh, grab a mic from Cody's office, please? <laughs> uh, he can come share this mic. I'll gladly share. With no, you. no, no, no. We, we, this is, is that from the fall? Is it still? He's limping. Oh, All right, there's I'm so back. there's so much to talk to you about. Sure. Are you there's serious? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go sit down there. There's so much to talk to you Did about. Did you go get it checked out? Uh, not yet. My girlfriend wants Roxy, me to wait a little second. Bit. Just put the headphones okay. on. Uh, yeah. Too. Yeah. This, the, 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 What's going on? You are the star. Go, you are you are the star of this show no, today. No, no, no. Oh no, no, you are. Oh yeah. So much, so much. Uh, well, Your we'll talk, name's on the paper. Here. Yes, we'll talk oh, to you. I didn't know that. We'll talk to you first. The first thing that we need to talk to you about is this thing that happened on Thursday. 
Uh, which thing? When I when I pushed you over. Off of the, so Josh threw you off a building, apparently. He barely did. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So it was bad. I heard it. Uh, Jack had told me about it at uh, at Comic Con, but then Josh told the story a little bit more. Mm. So you're you're afraid of heights, which a lot of people are. Yeah, uh, I, but, yeah. I discovered yeah. that when I was in the military that I was afraid of heights when I got stuck on a rope bridge, oh, a rope, shit. one of those rope things. Yeah. I was 20 feet in the air uh, and I could not swing my other leg over. I had terrible. no idea. So, no so fucking. Idea. And I went back up three times just to make Crazy. sure, and I couldn't do it. So paint the picture to me. What happened? Yeah. They put they put this headphones yeah, on. Yeah, I've never done the Oculus, so uh, Jack asked me to do it. It was a kind of chill day at right. Collider, so we were just doing stuff, and so he put it on me, and he's like, okay, now swing to your left once you get those things on. I swung to my left, and he goes, okay, do you see that plank? And I was like, holy, can we cuss? Holy yeah. fuck. What are you, holy show for the first time? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, um, in another keep it PG, please. Yeah, please. <laughs> PG. Let me just say uh, this. Easy. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, so I swing, and I see this plank, and so it is so immersive. And look, this is not a negative thing about Oculus. It's actually a positive thing about yeah. Oculus. It is so immersive that when I turn to the left and I start to move out onto the... Shit I am hand. scared yeah. out of my fucking mind. Right. And I feel like at any moment, if I move left or right, I'm going to die. But don't you know for real, you're standing in the middle I'm of the... I'm telling you, it's I, so immersive. Yeah. You, you, If you give in, when you have this fear... Anything can trigger it. Okay. Have you ever seen that Vertigo movie, James? Like anything yeah. triggers. So just, I was so believable, and you can't see anything else. Right. If I could see out just the corners, you're in the world. You're in then the world. I'd be, yeah, you're so yeah. in the world. So I start to move out to, the, and then I actually shuffle back a little bit because I'm scared I'm going to fall off this plank. I go over and I. I'm supposed to pick up these pieces of cake because there's a cake at the end of the plank. That's the name of the game. Yeah, yeah I guess. I didn't know what the fuck this was. So I go, I go, because <laughs> I'm just like trying it out. Uh, so I go and I pick up the two pieces of cake and I start to lift them and Jack goes, in a little bit of an impish thing, he goes, step to your right now. Because apparently you might be able to fall off this thing. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I'm going to try. And I, as I'm starting to, sh and I'm going to say to myself, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real. You will not fall, you will not fall. As I start to move my foot to the right, out of nowhere, I feel someone just go bam and barrel into me. And it wasn't I, a barrel. I like. I, is that, you, you, said, you, my no, story? you said you hit him, kind of. You said uh, you gave him is a shot. my story or your story? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he and I was there. Was he, yeah, and uh, so he hits me so hard that I, and and the the fear of it, I like jump like I jumped from the push right uh, and then both my knees and my elbows went down on the concrete which you can see here because I did not want to destroy the oculus right. so in so my trying to protect it I was trying to protect yeah. it but now and you, I heard you let out quite the yelp yeah, well, because I was scared. So now I have these two, like, massive... That's a giant yeah. band. I, you know you know what I'm calling you now, right? Oh, my God. That's Wait, but uh, my question is, what did you think that urgent care was going to do for you? I didn't go to urgent care. Yeah, but you said you wanted to go to urgent well, cause care. Well, because I thought they'd do an x-ray to see if I'd shattered a kneecap. You uh, thought you had shattered it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah because it swole, <laughs> up to a, it swole up to a grapefruit you, on Saturday, you, on Friday. Is it accurate? It swelled up? It was like this. Yeah. Is yeah, it on accurate? the plane to Portland, it was like this. Oh, is, glass. Is it, so we found the... Um, we found... We were very lucky to get an exit aisle with only two seats in it yeah. so I could put my leg out to uh, elevate it on the trip. Is so it, I iced it the whole time I was Is important. it accurate to call you Mr. Glass? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm not broken. Well, but you... but you, I mean, And I ain't in no fucking wheelchair. Andrew Guy, <laughs> the tackle... Stuff. Andrew Guy... Was Don't, start Don't start that Houston, shit. Don't start that shit. Houston, when you got hit in the leg... Yeah, because Andrew was out of control and never done stage combat okay, fine, and well, I had to take I'm, care of I'm Andrew giving, when I'm he giving, hit me. I'm giving one... I'm giving... I'm a child. Giving, and then double-toasted. You got hit in the, in the leg and your, oh, your right. leg like blew Once up. again, an out of control human being I'm coming out. I'm not telling you shouldn't have been hurt. What I'm saying is that your legs, no, your you legs were very in control with that yeah. barrel into the your linebacker so over there. What, what are you so upset? Who's upset? upset? <laughs> <laughs> this is called Passion Rocks, and you all people yeah, should know that. But you, but you were frustrated that you got injured. It sounds uh, like you're. Well, well I, yeah, because we were on our going to a wedding. It was our first wedding together, right. and I and we had talked about like we were looking forward to dancing, which right. we hadn't and done couldn't, together. And you, couldn't, and so you couldn't do it. You didn't I, dance. Yeah, we didn't dance. Oh. Like she, she danced. Way to go, Makuga. But like I was. Like, is just sitting and, here, just yeah. the, the faces on his. No, took away the look, fun. I, I, took away the fun. I shook Josh's hand. I told him it was fine. He said you were mad at him. He said, "Sure, why? Who would you?" didn't return his text. No. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do that. I'm sorry. About it. <laughs> but I did respond you to people. You let him squirm. No, because he apologized seven times, and I. So each you, time I was like, "It's okay." It's yeah. Brother, it's okay. It was like but one of, of these things. I like, I forgive you, yeah. you fucking asshole. Right. One of those. That right. kind of thing. Right, I had right, to get past it, but I wasn't like, "Fuck Josh." Right, I was just right. like in my head, like he was I, trying to play a goof. Right. And right. I think, but I just wanted like, what, what? Here's the question I have: What the fuck was occurring to you? Like no. you've done this before, and you know how scared well, you get. Well, because Jack pushed me off. 
I oh, didn't, did he really? Yeah, and I was just doing what Jack oh, did. Oh, that sanctimonious son of a bitch. Because he so, kept asking you. <laughs> yeah. He kept asking you, why'd you do that? Why'd yeah. you do that? No, he pushed me yeah. off. Okay. See, I didn't so know I was that. like, oh, dude. I, dude, first of all, I had no idea you were scared of heights. Yeah. No, no I know idea. you said that after never, yeah, yeah. Uh, That never come up before. Right. And I, so I had no idea. Had I known you were afraid of heights, right. I would not have pushed you. You, you, all, you, all, also, you. All three of you guys blew it, though. The fact that this is not recorded is a travesty. But I also do feel like we are setting him up a little bit right now because we know what's on all of our minds. Okay, listen. What's on so here's I'm going to play something Rocks. for you. I wanna, there you go. Uh, so I'm going to play something and, for you. Uh, can I apologize? So like apologize profusely to you, John, because I'd never meant to injure you. No, I know that. If yeah. you had meant to do it, trust yeah, me, we would we'd have a separate conversation. Right. A <laughs> different conversation. Yes. All right. yes. But yeah. so there's something yes. else. So I want, I don't want for I don't, better or worse. I don't want to talk through this. I want to listen first, and we will talk afterwards. Okay? Because I want to get I want to get your thoughts on this particular clip, and we will. Is talk. this Josh at the stand up? No, no, no. no. So okay. so let's let's play the clip. All right, John, just know I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the, 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 oh, the, right, the, Justin the Timberlake. That's right. Justin Timberlake. Yes. Oh, thank you, God. What is the this? one in that the cute panties. The that's today. right. How could you forget yeah, that? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Easy. No offense, Easy. no offense, no offense, no offense. You said Don Johnson's daughter was <laughs> in the cute panties. Oh, yeah, right, because that's what she was known for in the Stanford thing. <laughs> it's the man's daughter. Yeah, I know, and he played it off really he well. He was he was, he was, awesome. very, he was it such was, a great sport. We were left. Look, he's a Lothario himself, so, you know, like, he can't be, he can't take the moral high ground. Question number one, though. Yeah. In that moment, did you forget that it was his daughter? Yes, yes, okay. Because okay. Yes. Okay. I was more thought. about how did I that's remember fair. her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah, was yeah. because she. Because that's so happened cute. to me too, but if you hadn't forgotten, I was going to be oh, like, yeah. what no, were you, no, no. Why would you I, say I, that? Yeah, no. yeah, see, I thought. I, I, said I love that, Don Johnson. I, that's what I mean. Yeah, I said yeah, that yeah. he absolutely forgot that it was his daughter. Yeah. Totally did. Yeah. In that moment, I just remembered that was what I know her from. And then he caught me out when he was like, okay. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. He said, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's in the cute high grades. I mean, he talks. He tells the story all the time when he was in Miami, when he was shooting in uh, New York or Miami or somewhere for Miami Vice. He didn't know the show was a hit until women started throwing panties out of the windows at them as they were running during a scene. Oh. Him and Philip Michael Thomas, and that's when he knew it was a hit. But it was not his daughter throwing panties. Was, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Was <laughs> no, was, yeah, we, we heard that because I, yeah. I, Cody pulled that clip because we were doing sound bites. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, d don't you dare apologize for that clip. Oh, yeah. Under Roca. Oh, oh <laughs> no, don't apologize. Yeah, it was good. It's on the episode, so what do you apologize right. for? I've never, I've never seen. Uh, Cody quite as nervous as when I just went in to grab this mic from him and he was like oh no Shit. <laughs> Roke is coming in after yeah. the show no, no it's, I love Cody I never get mad at Cody no never he, have he's too good at his job he, can't be. No, he messes so, with me so much yeah. and yeah. I, I can't even can't care be. he's, he's pulled, always nice to me he's pulled other he's pulled other clips you have other sound bites you oh shit what do you got uh, not from you not just you nothing okay, from good. you nothing from you hold on <laughs> um, I don't know what these things are you missed the one that Christian well, did today that was amazing there's a really good one has the swelling gone down on your knee yeah it it went, but because uh, I'm icing it every night and okay. taking Motrin every few hours. Okay, it sucks. It hurts. I'm you not should go to the ER. You. It fucking hurts, yeah. and I'm just hoping in a couple of days it goes It'll away because go I've started to get a little pain here too. Look, I'm 48. Uh -oh. I don't know yeah. what you want from me. Fragile. I'm not yeah. young. If I was young, it'd be easy. What, but what, what hurt being more, old, the, the Houston or this? Oh, this, this, this. Because wow. the Houston thing was just a muscle strain okay. and I got over that pretty from quick. icing it nice. pretty what quick. What happened that you fell? Like, uh, he pushed it was so a height. I he thought, thought it was falling. He thought it was falling. I thought it was falling. But, and how did you actually fall? I'm confused because like... I thought I, you fell on your hip. No, That's no. Okay. <laughs> it broke it. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, legit, I thought you fell on your side. Uh, <laughs> I can't get up. That was your new hip, I, but, I was, but I will say this. I'm not going to lie. I was in the fucking turtle position. Uh, yeah, that's how show. I saw you. Yeah, yeah I was around. like this. Like this. And then I took this thing off, and I'm just like... Like, like, I'm calming down. Fuck? And Jack yeah. was really nice to like help me up. Um, and he kind of went after Josh a little bit, Did which he? I thought was. Had I known he pushed you, yeah. I would have been right. like, fuck you. Right. For saying like, that. that's the only reason I yeah. went and yeah. did that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And again, I didn't mean I didn't mean to push you as hard as I did. I really didn't. Mm -hmm. Like, I just thought there's it was some, like, uh, there's some anger, I think. There's some no. unresolved anger with yeah, me, maybe. Totally. <laughs> no. I was also trying this thing. I've never done one of these. You have to do the Vader Immortal. I think that's why I'm having a hard time understanding why you really fell. Oh. If you hadn't had that on you your head and he had hit you, you that hard, would you have still no, fallen? Of course not. No, of course not. So it, well, I don't know. But I'm not well, getting but I was it's so remember. immersive in yeah. you yeah. looking yeah. at it and it looks and down remember, and it I'm feels bent so real. Over. Like I'm not in a full pro, like I'm not in a full core position of strength. Like I'm bent over yeah. with my leg slightly up, my right leg. So another reference so I'm in a to position Rock, so in, to be Invader Immortal, knocked over. Like if you look around, like if you move around, you see this. The whole entire you, it's, you don't turn around and see like black. You see around you see like the back of a ship or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in Vader Immortal, when you climb up a ladder, you actually feel like you're grabbing and you're climbing up. Like it, it legit feels the way it normally does when you pull up on a ladder. So 
when he's on this little pillar, you the way that I, I assume yeah, the it feels so really you can see down into the street. You or can whatever absolutely it is, see everything down. And you can see everything happening. So you've done it, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's that's so why real. when I fell off, I was just like, ah! so you do fall. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah. You'd have heard me yelling like crazy if I'd fall. Oh, oh so you yeah. took it off the second you started. So really, he oh, saved yeah. you. Oh God! Right. Here we go, yeah. Josh. You, you uh, helped him, Josh. He's got enough Thanks, defenders. Right. I want to yeah. get to some more of these sound clips because because Cody, when Cody Cody really becomes like a DJ at a Vegas nightclub when it comes to these I didn't know you were going to use it in the damn stand up. Right. I didn't use. It. Oh, yeah. I did. Cody, yeah. Cody, <laughs> Cody, what do you got? I pushed him off a ledge you. and he's dead. Right. Hey everyone, this is John Roca. Well, I thought. <laughs> hey, <everyone>, John Roca. <laughs> what happened there? Probably, I couldn't get the other word out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it wasn't me, Cody. Now I'm going to get mad at you. I'm sorry. All right, here's Riley. Please. I will. I will go into these people. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, nice. ouch! Sounds wow. like uh, eyes wide shut. Aggressive. Yeah. 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 All right. Blow me, Christian. Come on. That's nice. <laughs> nice, Roca. Real nice. A lot of sound bites from Roca here. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck? Are you the binge, bro? What is that? Do you a binge, bro? Do you a binge, bro? Binge, bro? Do you a binge, bro? Okay, okay, I like that. Next. I'm trying to not do the Roku one. Just two of them. <laughs> two of them all. I thought we said only one of them. All right, here we go. No, but I'm on a colonoscopy watch tomorrow. Uh, pay attention. Talk about going into right. the uh, nether regions of space. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. <laughs> dad jokes for a dad bod. Oh, oh, really good stuff. That. Yeah, you're, you're, like, you're like a gold mine for him. Oh, Cody loves recording he loves these. Loves doing this. Yeah, yeah goldmine. That's why I think that's why he brings Cody, me Cody, to record these. Yeah, now. when he's doing when so when you have all these Roku ones, do you, do you give yourself notes like that'll be a soundbite? This is mostly Alex. Alex usually takes notes if it's during live. He'll take notes and then clip them out for me. Okay. If it's during nice. Other shit, which I find funny, like while we're recording reads or something, then I'll clip that out. Myself. All right. What what else? What else? <laughs> I'm John Roku. Uh, <laughs> I think I just have one more. All right. What do you got? Here. And they're fucking me right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you really are eyes wide shut, I guess. Is that the Honda? Yeah. What is that? Is that the Honda thing? Who was, was fucking you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? It was. Yeah. Yeah, it was, the it, it was the I remember. Honda. That, that was your mantra for days. Yeah. They're fucking me right now. They're still fucking me right now. He was like Leo Getz. fucking me right now. Roxy, you want to sit down again? Oh, no, no. You can say. I'm standing. I'm chilling. You got Why, you want to kick him out? Minutes. No? Oh, I don't care. I sit all day. I was thinking we do the twits. Yeah, I want to do twits. Twits. Go, go, go. Go step out. Twit, twat. Oh, stay, stay. Oh. Oh, we, so we talked, to, we talked to Kurt Angle today. Nice. Yeah, How was that? He was great. great. He called in this morning. Doll. Cool. And he talked a lot about the Raw reunion. Nice. And, that was um, great. Yeah, it was good. Pittsburgh Legend. Stone Cold. Mm -hmm. He talked about Warrior. We talked about... He talked cool. about... He brought up the fact that he's been sober six years and how he came back and he apologized to Vince when he came yeah. back. It was, this, it was it a was, great special. It was a good conversation. Yeah, we talked about the special. Mm -hmm. It was a good conversation uh, about half an hour. Oh, talking. good. So it was good. Yeah, I met him years ago after a SmackDown Live taping in L.A., and yes. he was trying to get into sitcoms. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. was years ago. And he is funny. He is a yes. funny yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's and still so trying to do comedy. He, he should. Yeah. People should give him guest spots. The, he's very funny. Or the John Cena thing. He should get a train wreck type movie. Sure. Do something yeah. Like that, he's got good timing. He needs to get a little smaller, probably, um, because if you look at like, Why, isn't Cena huge? Yeah, he but it works for Cena, Cena. He, because he's a leading guy. But he right. also, but Cena, even Cena, looks too big. On that's a rock dropped massive amount of, amount of weight when he went from wrestling to movies because mm -hmm. these guys look so big mm -hmm. on camera. Like Triple H never transferred over because he looked too fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like way too big on on film. Mm -hmm. The the Kurt Angle thing too though, like I could see him playing because. His brother dated a friend of mine in high school. Oh, I wow. can see him playing like the angry wrestler dad. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. her dad was like, he was jacked. He wrestled at Princeton. He almost went to the Olympics. And anytime he went over to his house, he's like, you here to take out my daughter? And we're like, oh, yeah, it's Dr. Delaire, no problem. Right, right. And so, was like, a doctor? A, yeah, it was a doctor, too. Yeah, he was mm -hmm. a lung surgeon. Mm -hmm. And, like, Kurt, you going over to a girl's house and Kurt Angle's the dad, like, that's a sitcom. I know, that's a sitcom. I wish we need a, we, I don't know why I never did this for a nickname for a smart dog competitor, like Dr. David Schultz. We need a doctor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need a doctor. We do need a doctor. We haven't had a doctor. Like a doctor yet. of death. I'm yeah. going to yeah. our Twitter for a second. I yeah. have a cup, uh, a question for whoever is tweeting sure. this. You know how we switched over to at Collider Live? Yes. Um, uh, so from at Collider Live, it just the whole tweet is who's right, Roxy Roker or Josh? Yeah, about what? I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> what is usually usually not what, me. What even yeah. were we talking? What, what, what did Josh, Roxy, about? and Roker have? But the whole tweet is it's a poll. Who's right? <laughs> 
I think it's kind of genius. <laughs> who's, who's tweeting that? I think it's kind of genius. Eight no. minutes ago, but no. I'm winning. Just so I'm <laughs> of course no. you're winning. Nice, Roxy. It's still Dorian. Yeah. Oh, Dorian. Roka, you're in okay. second. No. Josh, you only have 10%. Well, I mean, right. if it's about me pushing Roka, apparently <laughs> I know but that what, I was wrong. Why, would, doing why it. am I on there then? So why don't you take the microphone out to okay. Dorian real quick? Just take your headphones off. And I don't think he's here. <laughs> Do you think he's you guys will here. be able to hear me? Do you think Dorian, he's here? Dor- yeah, see. Dorian's not here. He's, he's not, not here. So we're going to call him on speaker. Just see, no, just see if he's out there for sure. Is he not out there? Mm-mm. No, yeah, Jack's yeah. out there. Do you think he'd know? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, okay. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So you I'm felt you screamed, right? Yeah. Roxy on the street. Did you scream when you felt it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, she's gonna talk. She's gonna talk. I just thought you were seeing the collided yeah. live Twitter right now. Yeah, there's a twi- there's a Twitter account, Collider Live. Yeah, that's those guys over in England. I think it's run by Chris Barnes or whatever his name is. Oh, okay. Well, well, because they just tweeted out saying who's right. It's a poll. I have no idea about what. It's just a poll that says who's right. And yeah. All right, Chris Barnes, whoever oh, you are, we're boring. coming for you. We're coming for you. Barnes. It's a great. It's, it's like it's like you're talking about sign line reporting. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sure. I'm sure they can't. No, we can. We, we can hear you. Hear. She can't hear us. She can't hear us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, hold on, oh, coming no. in. Lift up, lift up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like her. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Uh, who's nice. Chris Barnes? I don't know. But um, somebody, somebody Chris Barnes, in, Barnes, yes. But you're telling me somebody in England does our Twitter. He doesn't even work for the company. What is He's this? a fan. Of what is this Twitter account? I have no idea. Hello, Who's right? Who's right. to yeah, breaking news. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh-oh. Just texted Alex about it. Yeah. He said today it's Dorian that's running it. Oh, okay. Oh, so there right. you go. Um, let me tell you something else that I found out, and I hate to do this to you because you've already been, you've already been <sighs> ganged up on. Yeah, you've already been ganged up today, but it's only fair because show me the show me the saber tooth nails. You don't have them today. Roka, what's going on with your nails? What do you mean? They're, they're getting sharp. Let me see. You have you have like long lady yeah, nails. Yeah, I, I do. I have do you always gentlemen's do nails. Oh, you like to do that anyway. What? No, when they no, when I catch out. that they're grown, what then think, I start Roxy? to cut them. Yeah, I got mine last night. There, li- there they were. What, what, what I don't like is yeah, that yeah. when oh, they're long. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But see, see I cut my nails uh, ever oh, since they started making. They're dirty underneath. That's what I don't like. Yeah, when they're long, anybody's on. Yeah, yeah, like that. So. So you don't like that. No. I'm not the biggest I'm not, fan. I'm not, see, I get, I'm just get really antsy about it. Like I start to, like, mine are but just I have a little. Like, that's little. your OCD. I don't, I'm not though. I'm, I'm not. You think get the fuck I'm out of here. I'm not OCD. What? I'm, uh, me? Have you seen my car? No, yeah. you don't have to be OCD about everything. Uh, there are certain things you are OCD about. I don't believe I that's true. I, oh, bl- right? I agree with what he's Yeah. Talking. How so? Are you nuts? You're, obs- you're mm. obsessive. Yes. I am not. Oh, my God. <laughs> this <laughs> is what? madness that you think you don't know. No, I am not. What? This is not true. You and I'm not even true? denigrating no. you. No, no, no. How yeah. dare you? <laughs> <laughs> with what? Uh, trying to come uh, from my nails. Trying to come from my nails. doesn't count. That's not obsessive. That's trying to build something. Obsessively. Obsessively. Listen to you. If it's not... If it's not fixed, don't broke it. That's Bro. right. If it's not fixed, don't broke it. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's what well, I'm trying so to say. One thing, the Schmodown is your point of reference? No. There uh-huh. are other things. But that's okay. but that's part of you. That's okay. Cut your fucking finger. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, do you even do you even OCD, bro? <laughs> no, no, probably not. What do you got? I was somewhere on the spectrum of obsessive. I don't spectrum. think it's OCD. Thank you. Yes. Oh, uh, Josh definitely has OCD. Yeah, I, I have OCD. For sure. For yeah. sure. Oh, like certain things in my life, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yes, right. I know this. I'm OCD about numbers. That's why I always choose even numbers. That's what I, I rarely choose odd oh. in the final okay. round. What makes, makes you choose odd? Because uh, uh, he's odd. When I want to go against something, and it's worked out a couple times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I'm not really known from a smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last one I promised you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you little man, you're going to die. I'm going to push you off a ledge. He's about to be a daddy. You can't <laughs> kill him yet. You just gave him oh, okay. two more sound bites <laughs> oh, with, right. with your point. sentence. Son of a bitch. You little man, you're going to die. I'm going to push you off a ledge. <laughs> that's right. Right. Those two. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay. Are We're, you putting Neosporin on your wounds? Like, I'm so yeah, mad yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, My girlfriend was mad at you. That's I'm no sure lie. She was, she was oh, certainly she I, goes, uh, She texted me. She goes, you punched Makuga in the dick. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> okay. she mm, wanted us to dance. Have you ever punched too. someone in the dick? It's a little excessive. No, I had a friend who did. I have a friend who does that Ugh. when he gets drunk. Yeah, oh, funny. He did that's it. That's the he worst. Did, he did it. He did it at a wedding reception. Yeah, and uh, he was going up to because when he gets real drunk, he just he was no, tapping. You wish he would like punch. cracking the ball. Yeah, yeah. You wish you got I, tapped I, in the true. dick. I was. So, I, so, I, I, yeah. I did a horrible thing once. No, um, I got hit. No, my my friend Ryan had. We were at my buddy's wedding, and we must have been like twenty three, whatever. And we were. Just getting into the bathroom, and he hit me in the, in the nuts, and it fucking pissed me off. So I like almost DDT'd him in the bathroom, <laughs> on the bathroom floor. 
And we're like wrestling. This is my friend's wedding. On we're, the like, bathroom floor? We're, like, we're like wrestling on the floor and I'm like beating <laughs> the crap out of In a of bathroom them. of all places. And I'm, it's because, it, cause, yeah, because I was just like, and we're like, and we're so mad. We're like tuxes. Yeah. And we're like fighting, and we're like fighting in the bathroom because the guy decided to want to hit me in the balls. And it was just, a, yeah, but I, I, I haven't never, if, no. that, since that happened, I never talked about it. And what does your knee feel like? Does it feel like there's something <laughs> broken in there? Like I'm concerned. It fucking hurts. There's no lie. Like I, I've been hobbling Massage? a little bit, but yeah. No, no, but I mean, I'm hoping by the end of the week it's better. Like what do you think? Scale of one to ten, pain wise, right now, six or seven. Okay. Really, a real, real question. Not right. judging. Mm-hmm. Do you have a low pain tolerance? No, no. not you being in the military. Last military. question about this. Last question. Oh my god, are you going to sue me? No. <laughs> um, RB three bought fake Yeezys from this is great. Finstock. What's fake didn't, Yeezys? Yeah, this, They're Yeezys this that are fake. Yeah. Yeezys, oh, the, the, uh, the, the Kanye shit. So we thought. So Finstock on the schmoes two years ago pretended to give him a gift, right? But then charged him two hundred bucks for him. RB3 six months ago found out that they were fakes. <laughs> Does this surprise you at all? No. <laughs> Do you think Tom knew they were fake? Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. I, I don't. I blame RB3 for not. That's not what I Tom. Said. I said you should know who you get into bed with. A scorpion and a frog. Yeah, you don't yeah, blame yeah. the scorpion. That's right. That's you know? a, what a is the scorpion perfect. and the frog? Never it's heard that story. story. The, I guess not. The scorp- so, yeah. Go ahead. It's it's it, long story short is that the, it actually it's funny about this that movie I did with with uh, Kaiser Burke most the end of the movie is him telling the story about the scorpion and the frog and it's it's the scor- basically the scorpion trusts the, f- the no. frog, 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 frog trying to, because he's trying to get get across the, the river the, the, so the scorpion needs to get across the river and he's like yeah you know take me across the river and the frog's like all right well, I'm gonna have to because if you sting me we're both gonna die so he stings him and he's like we're both gonna die he's like yeah but I'm a scorpion that's my nature yeah right. and it, it's like, what's my nature to die to, to sting, sting your fucking ass sting and that's people. what that's yeah. what Dagnino did I'm not getting the story that's all right don't worry about it. It's fine. Wait, but, <laughs> but then they if both you, if die? You, listen, yeah. If you hear about a guy who, uh, oh, no, I don't that's the worst parts of it. No, it's okay. No, we'll no, figure no. it out. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I'll get in trouble you, for that. No, no. Both the frog no, and this. the scorpion die. Yes. Right. right. Because and the that's the scorpion's is, nature. Scorpion's I get it. Yeah, okay, there cool. we go. We got there. Cool, cool, cool. It was like, can I tell you what it reminded me of? It was like Joey. Like when, when Chandler's like, Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, he's like, get there. Hey, Christian, why does it smell like weed in here? Come, come, come take a smell over here. Oh, you've got. Oh, I like the room. I like yeah, when I have like, room yeah, to like, room. It's like we're like Ellis during the speed round of the schmo down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you don't even have to. Here, you get closer. Get closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. Good nose, yeah. Right? but everybody looked at me. Everybody. You like this? You like this shit? You like we? You like doing a lot of it? Do really? I wish I wish I could like I, I've done I do it every once in a while but I, I I can't do it consistently the way other people do I kind of envy people who can do it a lot I had to cut back because I, hate the smell. I can't smoke before oh, work smell. and I can't smoke and drive and I'm working too many hours so no, I only shouldn't. smoke and sleep do you oh, know yeah. what I did because I don't, I don't really again I, don't, I smoke at, like a one hitter does does enough so I took it to me to San Diego and I realized that a, I forgot a pen no it's a, a little little oh. one hitter mm. and I realized I didn't have my one hitter. I did, but I thought I didn't have it. So I just started just eating the actual <laughs> plant. That's it doesn't called, work. I've it's tried addiction. it. No way. Okay. It's not activated. That's that what wouldn't work. Do. Work Let to me. me. Maybe, maybe I just maybe convinced myself. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You yeah. should get some cannabis oil for your leg. I think I might have some in my house. I'm going to bring it to you, I promise. I'm worried about you. I get a high leg. I, like, yeah. I, get a high I don't leg. want to hurt anybody. I don't like to really upset bad. anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't I don't want anybody to ever be hurt. I'm just trying to have some fun, and I didn't think it was going to result in that. Next so time, I, just like... take a baseball bat to his knee. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, let's do one Twitter question here, and we'll get the hell out of here. All right, well. It's rough housing among the boys. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, Jonathan Caro wants Until to know what you heard about that. She's fine. Let, yeah. let, let the guy finish Sorry. the fucking tweet. Uh, there's a tweet that came out that uh, it's a film tweet. It's yeah. a hot take. Hey, oh, and which, I'll get your take on it. And which is? asking what you thought. Such Scors- as? Scors- Scorsese needs an editor, says this person, mm-hmm. of real gravitas, someone he respects, who says, Marty, there are five second acts in this movie. We're gr- getting rid of an hour. And they were, uh, a lot of people think they were referring to Thelma Schumacher, mm-hmm. uh, who is his editor for many, many years, saying that she's not old. a good editor which a lot of people are having offense that's taking offense f- fucking bullshit yeah. i think I'm it's schoonmaker yeah. but she is schoonmaker she's incredible how do you say, how do you say it schoonmaker so wait, so wait, I'm, what's I'm, the question yeah i'm unclear so what, what, they're blaming the editor for why for not being so strong long. enough to tell scorsese oh, to oh, cut oh, the oh, film oh, i see that's I see. to cut to cut his films yeah the Dutch his films and then this turned yeah. into a conversation yeah, that scorsese only makes movies about uh, derelicts that shoot people in the head and then people started to bring up the all sacrifice. Last Temptation of Christ, Silence, all Silence, those other right, movies, yeah. The Aviator, all these other movies. Mm-hmm. Hugo. 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 Yeah. So uh, no. Yeah, Hugo. King of Comedy. Nobody gets shot in the head King, King of Comedy. Yeah. Right. So I, I want to talk. Goodfellas. I want to take a different tweet. 
What? I don't know. I just you don't feel like, like talking about this one. Okay, <laughs> don't pick one. All right. There's you guys talk about it. I can't say I smell like an alley cat right now. I don't know really? why. I showered this weed. morning. Probably. I uh, did too. Hey, the ink's looking good. Ink's Everybody looking really says that they always see me smell it my pits on this show. Yeah, you do it a lot. I, is that true? Yes. Yeah. I'm always Ask nervous. Ask the question. two seconds. There's nothing on there. Okay, good. Uh, he's scrolling and I can't see anything. Scroll. <laughs> scroll. 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 If you could choose, who would you play? Nope. If you could choose, who would play you in a biopic? Drew Barrymore. Oh, it would be so good. Yeah. I always say Dakota Fanning because Drew, like at this point, Drew I'm couldn't play me. Do you know Dakota Johnson. Fanning was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? She is. Yes, I did. You know that? I did know that. Why do you have glitter on your nose? It's called a highlighter, so oh, okay. on camera it actually like makes it so that fascinating it's glitter on your nose. Okay, okay. Mm. I didn't know that. You'd you'd get the guy from <laughs> uh, what's who, Hell or who, High Water? Yes, Hell or High Water. Right? <laughs> Gil Birmingham. Yes, probably. Yeah, I mean you guys are twins. I feel like Albert Molina. Alfred Molina could play my dad. That's for sure. Albert mm, Molina. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Like it's Steve Carell. What yeah. the fuck is wrong? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. You gotta wind up. Fucking Please, you gotta kick this He's guy. He's already gonna, hurt. Yeah. You did it. I yeah. know. That's what I'm fucking you, saying. You kick him in the head. He gets a concussion for no, six I months. I could do it. <laughs> Poor McCooks. Yeah, I, I feel him John just Severy. sitting here. Just, it's just, just Dane Cook. Mm, I'm gonna go Ruffalo. I like Ruffalo. What? To play me. I want Ruffalo to play me. Yeah. Much. It's his choice. It's my choice. Fair. I would say back in high school, uh, Jason <laughs> Jason Biggs. Uh, oh, that's what people thought I looked like. Jason Biggs is yeah, we're, we're not, we're, there's two different things as far as who you think you, you are similar you to look want. like. My yeah. my dream biopic to do would be Greg Geraldo. No, who's playing you? Uh, who's playing you though? He's, he, I know the flip side of that. I'm doing a Roxy. Like uh, uh, I would rather be Andrew <laughs> okay, okay. in the Marvel <laughs> no, franchise. Pause. What are you doing? Stand up? Fucking pause. Yes. No. Let me ask you this, Roka. Oh shit. Jo- uh, John. I just came Josh because my asked, legs are broken. Josh, <laughs> spit it out. Josh asked us if you could play anybody in a franchise, who would it be? And I said Black Canary in the DC universe, and they all made fun of me saying that that doesn't count. It's not. No, I just say it doesn't count. The DCU is not a franchise. The the Black Canary has not been in a movie yet. She has not been in a movie yet. I can understand that argument, but it is a franchise. It's a franchise. DC is a franchise. DC is a, DC is a brand. How is DC though? not a franchise? DCEU, Marvel DCEU, DCEU, is a franchise. MCU is a is a franchise. I said, so you, DC, I said separate, DCEU. Thank you. All right, listen, that's the show. You separate IP we'll, from we'll franchise. Back. We'll come back to it. Thank you guys so much for joining us on today's show. Uh, get those tickets. The Schmodown Live. We're going to be in New York August thirty first, and we're almost close to four hundred. I'm telling you, those tickets are going to go away. And if you're in the East Coast, you're going to miss us. So get those tickets. It's going to be the, the it's going to be the championship match between Paul Oyama and either Kalinowski, Snyder, Snyder. or Bateman. Snyder. One of those three will be playing, and then the undercard: Ethan Irwin versus Haley Fowl. So get your tickets in Arizona and the rest of them. Theshmodownlive.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, this is John Roca.